Welcome! Everything running? Yes! Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Uh, this is our Friday show. Um, Darcy is running a little bit late. That's why there's nobody sitting in this seat. But uh, he should be here uh, any minute now. And do we have a very special show for you today. We're going to be playing three games today, as per usual. And the first one is Mappy. Um, if you saw the uh, promotion for today's show, it's uh, actually this Mappy. It is a work in progress um, that will be playing. And it's actually never been released yet, this one. You may have seen video of it. The, the one that's been released on the internet on the Atari Age forums is one that has um, no sound and no music, no sound effects. But this one I just got about a half an hour ago from John Shampo, the programmer of the game. And so you'll be seeing it premiered today on the show. They have put out a couple YouTube videos of it, but uh, we're going to play it live for you today. So it's something very special. We'll also be playing another one of his games, which is Conquest of Mars, which is his first game that he put out through Champ Games. Um, and also we'll be playing, this is the second game, we'll be playing that one last, and this is the second game we'll be playing, Panky the Panda. Now we did try and play this a couple weeks ago, but it didn't work out so well because it's got some screen rolling issues, uh, which doesn't play well with um, the Frame Meister equipment that I have. But I've made some alterations to the Frame Meister now so that it can handle the screen transitions when you go from screen to screen in Panky the Panda. I put the tolerance level up so that it doesn't cut out and think something's really, hey, 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 cats. The cat is moving the camera. Uh, <laughs> so, that the, uh, so that the equipment doesn't uh, crash out and uh, kill you, essentially. It was unplayable before, but I've made the alterations so that we now will be able to play the game. So that is exciting. Um, so those are the three games that we're going to play today. And uh, some people in the chat room are here. Uh, at Mappy on MSX. Well, we'll be playing Mappy. These are all on Atari 2600. This is actual hardware. It's a uh, light sixer. And we'll be playing the Mappy, of course, through um, the cartridge. The... I always forget the name of it. I don't know why. The Harmony Encore cartridge um, from uh, Binfile. Um, because it is a work in progress game. Um, it's not out on cartridge, but it will be out on cartridge eventually because it is a masterpiece. It is beautiful. It's amazing how far John has pushed the limit of the Atari 2600 hardware. Um, and then it goes from the Atari 2600 out. It's and my 2600 has been modified for RGB. So it outputs pretty much the highest quality you can get out of an Atari 2600. Goes through the Frame Meister, it output and scales it up to 720p, which is a an even multiple of the 240p, so that uh, it looks pristine, clean, crisp lines, looks beautiful. Outputs that at 60 frames a second and is coming to you uh, on Twitch at 60 frames a second so that you don't miss any of the um, special effects that a lot of these newer games, newer homebrews are using where they are alternating frames going back and forth to give higher resolution, more colors, and you'll really see that in Mappy. Um, this, and also um, the, um, the multiplexing, uh, I guess you could say, of the characters because the Atari 2600 can only handle two players on the same line. So when you get up to 60 frames a second, you can draw four characters on the same line instead of the two limitations by doing it really fast back and forth at 30 frames, 30 frames. Every second frame is another character. So it tricks your eye into seeing all those characters. And so that's why we're broadcasting at 60 frames a second. If you've ever seen um, broad recordings of Atari 2600 games, some of the newer homebrew on YouTube, a lot of them are recorded at 30 frames a second, so all of a sudden things will start disappearing on the screen. That's what happens. 
that's why we want to broadcast at 60 so you see every single frame so thank you for everybody oh is it focusing in and out every three or four seconds so it was playing with that let me try and fix that just one second that is distracting Yeah, we don't want that. Come on. Let's not have that. Come on. Come on. Let me just look at my monitor here. Is it going to stop? Looks like it stopped now. Okay. I'll keep watching that. No, it's not stopped. Because it's on automatic focus, and it's just doing it way too much way too much so let's just do the manual focus and leave it on there for now so i won't be doing that anymore thank goodness okay sorry about that is there a stream on atari age that i can bump about uh, about this stream maybe or is there a chat i'm looking but i don't see any a stream a thread um there is i did post this on the mappy thread i just got to kick a cat out of the room This is Pixel, and you got to say bye to Pixel because he's got to go. He's walking all over the equipment. Yeah, if you want to bump up the thread, uh, it's on the Mappy thread on the Atari Age forums. Um, so I posted about it there. Um, I don't know anywhere else you want to post it. You can post it in the Atari Age um, group on Facebook. That's uh, very active, even though they mostly talk about E.T. and the uh, new VCS, new VCS coming out. Yeah, nice crowd in here today. Everybody's excited for the Mappy. So let's switch over to the Mappy right now. So you're tired of seeing my face. Might as well switch to something a little more, a bit more interesting. So there we go. So this is still a work in progress. So please be aware of that when evaluating it even though it is it is pretty feature complete um this one like i said before has the music has the sound effects it's got i'm pretty sure all the different levels um and there's the initials jwc john shampoo hopefully i'm pronouncing that correctly so let's get into it and Arena Foot, uh, like I la announced last Wednesday's show, Arena Foot just put out a homebrew video game book on Amazon. So um, go check that out. Um, and he says this game is in the book because he did include a bunch of work in progress games because there's a lot of activity going on in the 2600 scene nowadays. So let's get into the game. Let's play standard. To start off with because that's the default so here i am i am the mouse and the goal of this game is to get all of the treasured items and i died <laughs> oh i think darcy is here i did leave the door open i told him that it is open and he should be able to come down on his own he should know that i started to oh my god i'm doing terribly terribly when I first started uh, putting this game, I thought there was uh, an issue because I wasn't dying. I was running into all the, uh, oh, wrong reaction, running into all the cats, and I was I was not dying. I was just passing right through them. I'm obviously not passing through them right now. Uh, how's the music level? Should be pretty good. Sorry. Yeah, the music is something that you never hear coming out of an Atari 2600, that's for sure. Uh, music has been really stepped up in, in a lot of the recent games. Don't hear Darcy coming down. I did say I was leaving the door open, but maybe he didn't give that message. Should I pause the game? Because I'm doing terribly anyway. Um, I'm going to go get open the door for Darcy. One second. <laughs> 
sorry about that. Hope you've enjoyed watching me die. Um, okay, uh, uh, again with my story. I was uh, messing John today to get um, the latest build of this because I knew that there was one because he was posting some videos on YouTube about um, with this version or a little bit newer than this with um, all the sound effects and the music and here is Percy. I have arrived. <laughs> I see well, you have broken rule number one. Which is? I play first. I know, but you're late, so. Mm. You were just supposed to fill the air with talk and I tried. Your charming <laughs> personality. Banter. Yes. Lots of banter. Just do no. a lot of, what do you think? <laughs> well, I don't know. What is this? Are you playing mice? I am the mouse cop. Oh. And I'm recovering all the stolen loot, I think. Are the cats the bad guys? Yes. The you cats are, are the bad guys. I'm you are an cop. enormous, enormous mouse. <laughs> yes. Or they are the smallest cats well, ever. Well, to be promoted to a cop, you have to be a pretty big mouse. Oh. Right? To be able to, you know, do your job and rid Does... the city of these terrible, nasty cats. Right? Did, <laughs> did, is that in the book or are you making stuff up? <laughs> I'm making stuff up <laughs> right now because I haven't read the instructions yet. Oh, or that's the... good. The lore <laughs> of... Oh, I should have kept going. The lore of Mappy. So have you seen this game before? No. Ever? Okay. Um, after I die, I'll start reading about it. And we can find out the history of it Mappy. It looks super cool. It this is... does not look very Atari-like. <laughs> not at all, does no, it? No, it doesn't. Like, it's got a billion colors. Yeah. And if you listen, it's got like full music soundtrack. And look at that and mouse. Sound like, effects. like, was I confused about what that was? I was not. I knew no. that was a mouse immediately. It was it wasn't obviously a, block. a mouse. It wasn't a square, you know, gray block or anything. Yeah. <laughs> no, this is like super advanced, especially in terms of color. Like a lot of, like you don't see this level of color. Oh, oh I almost died. This level of color in, in games. Oh my god, get out of here! There's too many cats! <laughs> there we go. Oh, you hit a lot of ca cats there. That was like <laughs> some serious cat bashing. Yeah, I cleared out the level of those cats. Um, so you can use those doors to kind of clear out a whole row of cats. Mm -hmm. And you can, on the normal doors, you can just close the door so they can't get through. Ah. Um, so you can close it by the button. Oh, oh, where's the last thing? It's over. Oh, yeah, that's no problem. Okay. Phew, 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 phew. Now into the bonus stage, I believe. It's yes. even clear that you're in a house, it has the roof and everything. Yeah. It has everything. Yeah, like this it's really good. Could be passed off as like a uh, Nintendo, that's like good. an NES game. Yeah. I was gonna say a Commodore game, but yeah. even that, even that actually, yeah. like easily. Oh, broke through. Oh. You can only bounce on them too many, so many times. So oh. you have to kind of plan out your route. So I was um, just telling them a story mm. about this um, game. Um, <clears throat> this we are playing an unreleased work in progress. Um, I just got this today. From, whoa, oh, oh, well, that's interesting. Really good. <laughs> good golly, Miss Molly. I just got this today from the programmer, um, John Champeau, um, because this is not um, released to the public, this version. The newest version is from February 6th um, that's released to the public, uh, which doesn't have all this music and sound effects in it. And, um, uh oh. oh. But, my cat. but when I got this, I plugged it into the Harmony cart mm -hmm. on the Atari 2600. And I wasn't dying. I was just, I could just walk and I, none of the cats were killing me. And I was like, oh, well, the music's there and the sound effect's there, but I can't die. I mean, it'll be good to demo it, but um, it'll be too easy. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit too easy to play. Um, but apparently, I had it on, I just had the setting wrong on the Atari because uh -huh. there was a. Um, Kind of a testing mode so that you can just play it without dying right um and i had that uh-oh did i get the last one cat sandwich no i did i guess there's one more 
And so, yeah, he emailed me back saying, oh, there's a testing mode. Just set the left difficulty switch um, to uh, B. And you can't die. Or A. One of those. Oh, okay. How do I do that again? <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> ah, shut the door. There we go. Fairly decently. As I almost died. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, and then yeah, you get too cocky, and you, and you just die. Desserts. You pay the penalty. Um, but I want to definitely thank John to uh, for sending me this. Like I messaged him like a couple hours before the show was gonna go on the air, mm. and luckily he was around. Uh, messaged him through the Atari Age forums, and yeah, he sent this right over. So thank you. You're super awesome. Um, because I've been uh, looking forward to uh, demoing this game on the show because of how unbelievably advanced this is. Uh -oh. Ah, I did it again. <laughs> Too many bounces. I hit the wall because uh. you have to pr in this you have to press it when you want to go over yeah. in the bonus. Like I don't think I've seen a game with this dense of color on yeah. the characters like look at the mouse yeah. like his eyes are black yeah and white yeah oh, it a and pink and pink ears and yeah. gray ears and boots and he has even like socks i think yeah. like white socks it's unbelievable yeah like it's really the, good the like it's per line there's a different yeah. color and usually you can't get that kind of yeah, and the, the cats look like cats. <laughs> yep, they've got little blue bow ties. No, 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 no. Whoa, there's a lot of cats going on. Oh my god. Oh, he could have caught up to me. slightly faster than you. Yeah. <clears throat> so made it to level 8, I guess, the balloons. Level 8. So there you go. Um, hit the bells to stun the cat. Oh, John Shampoo is in the chat with us right now. Welcome. To Zero Page Homebrew, he's Darcy, I'm James, do this every Friday and Wednesdays, uh, oh, a little bit here right. and there. Is oh, that, is that right? Yeah. Uh, what should I put? Uh, I'm going to put, and I do have the Atari, I don't know if this supports the uh, Atari box. So, John, if you could let me know in the chat. Oh. <laughs> Zuck. Apparently, I'm Zuckerberg. <laughs> so, I ran out of time. Enter my name in. Just like in the arcade, they want their quarters. So, they're just going to be like, nah, you had enough time. I was trying to put in zero page homebrew. Z Z-P-H. Yes, we're Canadian. <laughs> um... Oh, thread in the uh, stream over the Atari age. Some heads should pop in. Thank you very much, uh, Sean Face. Um, yeah, John, if you could let me know if, because I have an Atari Vox uh, Plus key in there. Um, I don't know if it saves the high scores or not. That would be super awesome, because um, more and more games are supporting that. And I'm, I'm guessing this will be out on um, at the Atari age store, um, just like all the rest of your games. So actually, let's read the instructions now. Well, I don't know if instructions for this specific one is going to be put out. Oh, uh oh, 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 the cats! Oh, the cats got gotcha. me. <laughs> because this is um, this is a port of a, an arcade game. Um, so I'll be reading the instructions from a write-up that I found on a web page that seemed to have pretty, pretty pers like concise uh, instructions. Oh, I also want to say that John uh, is part of Champ Games, who also made Super Cobra, uh, Ladybug, which we played, and I think we played Super Cobra as well. Is that the one we played? Or did we play Scramble? Uh, can we get back to the fact that I finished a level Woo! on my first play? That is pretty good. It's like I'm uh, a gamer. <laughs> Woo! And then I died. Yeah, I was so talking you're talking shit. Just like you. Yeah, you're talking big. Saying how awesome you are, and the cats heard it. <laughs> the cats came for you. 
Uh, Super Cobra, Ladybug, Conquest of Mars, which we'll be playing later, and Scramble. Um, Nathan oh, no. Strum worked on the graphics. Amazing job on the graphics. Like, look at the eyes when he dies. They go, in a little scramble there. And uh, Mike Haas for oh, doing what? the sound effects, which are amazing. It doesn't say who did the music, but I'm guessing Mike Haas uh, did the music as well. Um, so the write-up. Mappy Like Xevious is an early Namco arcade game that achieved great success in Japan and very little success in the United States. So behind its cute characters and presentation is a surprisingly strategic platform arcade game that requires a lot of planning, can be quite frantic. It runs in the same hardware as Super Pac-Man, uh, uh, but modified to support horizontal scrolling. Actually, yeah, that's another thing in this. This has horizontal scrolling. This has more, not horizontal scrolling, but horizontal shifting. Woo! See if you can do better than me, because I just, I bombed at this. There, oh. there you go. Nope. There. There. Now you did better than me. Awesome. <laughs> Since Mappy wasn't extraordinarily popular in the US, there isn't a lot of history to report. The name Mappy is derived from Mapo. A Japanese slang term slightly insulting for a policeman. The large red cat is known as Nyamko, uh, which besides playing a cat, which is a play on Namco, which comes from Nyanko, the Japanese equivalent of kitty cat. Oh, oh really good. There's two left. Uh, Nyamko was renamed Goro in the so U.S. Nice. release of the game. Um, the story. The player takes control of Mappy, the brave mouse policeman. Mappy's mission is to retrieve all of the stolen treasure from the Meowki Cat Gang. <laughs> so the oh, gang's called Meowki. Meowki. That's it for me. Yeah, you can keep playing. I have more to talk about. Uh, they've stashed all the loot in their leader's mansion, which contains several floors and also numerous trampolines. Kind of cool, they have trampolines in the, uh... Oh! Get the name in there. Maybe. <laughs> have a limited time. They've stashed all the loot in their leader's mansion, which contains several floors and numerous trampolines that the Meowkies have to use to travel between the various stories. I guess a trampoline would be cheaper than putting in an elevator. So there were a lot of elevators in uh, early arcade games. Like elevator action and... Uh, Mission Impossible. <laughs> Doctor! <laughs> Almost. It was supposed to be <laughs> Drax, but... Uh, were you going to put an X? <clears throat> or an yeah, I was very, very close to it. <laughs> I was two presses of the... <laughs> well, VR kind of works-ish. Uh, Mappy's, Mappy's job is only to recover the stolen goods, not to make any arrests. Oh. <laughs> so he's in and out. He's like, you guys, keep on stealing. We'll keep getting <clears throat> them back. Came a game of cat and mouse. <laughs> what's 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 his? He's the he's the guy that like breaks into the house to steal back the Robin Hood. No, the guy he's... like uh, the person that like like the good guy who st breaks into get bad guys' houses. And like steals you, back stuff? like they break into your house to repossess your car or uh, your, or your yes. television or whatever. Yeah, there is a name. <laughs> A repo, re repo man. Repo man. He's a repo man. <laughs> I'm like repossessor. <laughs> no, you can't call him the full name. It's just repo. Just repo. repo man. So he's like, yeah. Except he's a policeman. I wonder if he's off duty, because like, he maybe just doesn't have enough evidence. Because if you steal back something that's stolen, you are a thief unless you have the evidence <laughs> that it was stolen. <laughs> are you really? Are they going to claim that? You oh, so stole you're it from saying them? he's not working at all he's just like oh this is an opportunity to steal a bunch of stuff from some well, people that aren't going to report it to the cops <laughs> well i wasn't they know i wasn't going for that <laughs> because the original owners know it's stolen mm -hmm. but you didn't have to do any of the hard work well you do in this to steal yeah. it from the bad guys yeah, you gotta like keep jumping up and down on trampolines it's actually harder to steal from the bad guys than it is from good guys because the bad guys are they're willing armed. to kill you apparently they're yes. willing to like knock you knock you upside down onto yeah. your ears yeah yeah so, you continue on, uh, right in the middle of that one. 
They stashed all the loot in their leader's mansions, which contained several floors, and also numerous trampolines. <laughs> <laughs> of course. As, as of course, you would do. As you'd expect in a mansion. I mean, yeah, if uh, you're a bad guy, you're going to have your thing in a volcano and have trampolines for travel. Yeah. So it has numerous <laughs> trampolines that the Meowkies have used to travel between the various story stories. St ah, the stories. <laughs> stories. No, the stories. No. Um... Mappy's job is only to recover the stolen goods, not to make any arrests, so you should not let him get near any cats, including the Gosenzo cat coin. Or it's lights out for Mappy. Cat coin? Gosenzo cat coin. Weird. Okay. Gameplay summary. The player must direct Mappy throughout each of the Meowki Gang's mansions with the two directional two direct two directional joystick. You must collect every stolen item in the mansion to advance to the next round. Collect pair of items consecutively for bonus points. Oh, I didn't know that! What could you collect other than consecutively? Well, you, you get that one and then go down to get the next one. Yeah. Of the same so type. Two same type? Yeah. Oh. Uh, collect pairs of items. Oh, okay. Pairs. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's cool. Uh, to get bonus points. You must avoid contact with... Nyamko and the Nyalki gang while standing on a floor. If they catch you, Mappy will lose a life and must restart. Yeah. Use the trampolines to bounce from one floor to the, of the mansion to another. Mappy is mostly safe from harm while in the air due to the go Gosenzo. Due to the Gosenzo. 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 There. Now I got two in a row and it gave me yeah, 400, 400 bonus points. Yeah. Press the door button to open and close doors. Use doors to block or shove enemy cats and temporarily stun them. Opening a flashing door to emit a microwave that drives the cats that drives the cats off the screen for bonus points. If Nyamko Nyamko is caught in it, he will double your points. In the bonus rounds, you must collect all 16 of the bonus balloons as quickly as you can before the song ends. Before the song ends. Okay. I think I'm gonna do better this time. You already have. I have. I think I'm going to try <laughs> and, and finish it. There you go. Well, we'll see. But you can't move on the down. You can only move yeah. over on the up. That's good, because ah. otherwise you would have to successfully move on the down. Yes. Ah! Uh-oh. No! No, 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 no! Oh, so close! Did the song run out? Yeah. Oh, it was, that's out. why mine did, 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 did it. I was wondering why it stopped. I thought it was because I got the last balloon. Yeah. Even though I knew I'd missed one. So you pretty much can't make any mistakes. Maybe one. Oh! Don't close that up. Go back to the chat. Uh... <laughs> That's not my life that was just lost. Up. Oh, there you oh. go. I don't, I don't know what your code is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you can break into my thing. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. There we go. Back to the chat. Oh, I'm doing terribly. I'm distracted. Chat. Uh oh, I think we lost all of the chat history. I know, it's really, I hate the way Twitch does that. Ah. It's not a secret, Twitch. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to keep the information from us. Yeah, we just want to know what people said while we were away. And uh, the trampolines also whoa, whoa, whoa. break. In this, um... Yeah, that was really, uh, fortunate. The last one? Yes! What, did it make it to level 8 last time? Yep. So, like, the items are are amazing. Like, the colors and the, the resolution. Like, you can tell that's a, a, a painting, that one. Um, like, you can tell exactly what it is. Yours. Oh, well, you have to type in your name and oh. see if you can do it. <laughs> That's ready. The, Get ready. That's the real Get, skill. No, 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 go, 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 go. Oh, oh, it keeps yours. Oh, oh, so that makes it so that if you do it right. Oh, and you gotta press one. it. Uh... Oh no, it went back. No. I said P. Yeah, zero page homebrew. Oh. Yes. 
Did you just get it on time, or did you press I don't the know. I did press a button, but I also may have gotten it on time. Yeah, I saw, um, Arena Foot, I saw in the Atari Age, I th no, in one of the, one of the pages, uh, or groups on, um, Facebook that somebody already got your book, and it was just released yesterday. Um, so I'm gonna be doing a review of the book when I get it. Um, unfortunately it wasn't in the Canadian store, it's only in the American store, so it's gonna take a little bit longer to get up to, uh, Canada here. Yeah, more points if you collect the items in, in pairs. Well, I think it's hard enough. <laughs> oh, and the items flash. Oh, you got three. Is there three of a kind? Uh, no. How did you get bonus? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it also flashes. It seemed to flash the item that was the next one you need to grab. If if you if you got, uh, I got the I got the painting, yeah. and then the next painting flashed. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. There's like a hint that because uh, I mean they will flash if there's a you and a if there's more than three items on a line. Yeah, but it was it did not Special seem flash. to be that. To be like, did you see that guy? What? He was hiding behind the item. He was uh, being tricksy. I saw him. He just stopped right, at, and he went behind the item. I saw someone hide behind the oh, item. Oh yeah. my goodness. Naughty cats. Oh! Yeah, you got How did that happen? When you open a door, it kind of pushes them a little bit. Oh, that's about. Oh, it resets. Okay. Ooh, almost. I almost made it. Catch Goro when he's hiding for a thousand. Oh, you can catch them when they're hiding. Oh, it's Goro. I guess the big, the main cat. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Oh, Spiceware is here. Hello, Spiceware. Welcome. Thanks for joining us today. As our look at uh, pre-release, not pre-release, work in progress of Mappy. It's almost, it, it feels like a pre-release because it's like, it's done. I think he said that the Atari Age logo is missing, and what else? Let me just look. There's two things that he couldn't include on this right now. Um, oh, the Atari Age Splash logo and the Champ Games um, logo on the title screen. Um, so they're still working on those at least, but I mean, the music's perfect, the gameplay is perfect, uh, the graphics are perfect. Like everything, I, I can't. We haven't found any bugs, which we sometimes do <laughs> when we play through these things. Um, yeah, and the oh, it's gonna break through. Damn it! Oh, I thought that it would break after. It would I thought you... it would disappear when you used it the last time. Yeah, I was that's okay. Was thinking, uh, maybe. Oh, you get a bonus for the uh, the Goro Moro Goro um, cat balloon. Yeah, the, the flicker handling routine is absolutely perfect. No. Um, no. It switches right away when there's only... Ooh, it only goes one direction. I think it goes in the direction of the, the way it opens. So, whichever side the knob is on. Yeah. Um, yeah, everything is absolutely perfect that I can see uh, in this game. I wonder if items ever go up in the top there. Because I never played this in the arcade or on any platform. I've seen it before, but I've never played it on any platform. So I can't really compare. Uh-oh. Yeah. Long, long, long stretch of levels. Hateful. Uh-oh. Oh, excellent. Oh. All the big programmers are here in the for in the uh, in the chat. Welcome to everyone. Um, so yeah, anybody who's who just joined us, this is a uh, work in progress, unreleased build of Mappy that we're playing. Um, thanks to John Chapeau for getting to me getting me this um, build just in time for us to play today. Um, this one is feature complete, pretty much. It's got all the music. If you're if you're looking at the forums, um, the past week or so, uh, he did post um, pretty much this. I think this one's a little, a couple more versions before the one he posted 
um, with that had all the music and everything. Um, oh, trapped again! Um, but this is this is beautiful. I can't wait for this to come out. Oh yeah, gotta put your name in. Level mm -hmm. five. I think you beat my last game. <clears throat> I wonder what, what year this came out in the arcade. What, what year would you guess? I'm say I'm thinking like um, 83. I'm gonna guess. Let's see how close I am. Yeah, 83. What's 83? I wasn't listening. When this I was <laughs> desperately trying to get my letters in on time. It looks like Doctor X. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I've got three letters to work with. Now we're going to go for expert. <laughs> as there is novice, standard, advanced, and expert. We've been playing on standard. Okay. So let's see what changes. I bet the speed of the enemies. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the what music. else? The music will be harder, too. <laughs> the music will be harder. <laughs> harder to listen to. Well, it sounded like it was going faster. <laughs> for increased... Um, Stress. <laughs> like, oh my god, the music's playing so fast. It's stressing me out. <laughs> um, I can't really tell yet uh, the cat um, speed. Because I'll have to wait till one of them chases me. Hopefully that doesn't happen on the first level. And I'm not going to go for uh, matching things yet, because I'm not that good. <laughs> enough to to get the extra points i'm going for levels i'm going for levels at this point oh yeah switch back to the chat please hopefully there's some recklessness to switch away from it uh, was, yeah i was looking for the uh oh it's still there what oh wow that is like the unfortunate thing about tablets that programs don't really run in the background they kind of suspend and a lot of them kind of reset themselves super annoying and um, Thomas J is has joined us in the chat. I don't really want to try and pronounce your last name because it would embarrass me and you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, another amazing programmer um, that has released games in uh, on Atari Age. Two more to go. Oh, he's hiding. Oh, oh two. Too slow. I, I guess you only have to touch him because you don't have any weapons. Not your, even a baton. Your, your fist is a weapon. Uh, your... I think I'm going to break through this. That'll be the fastest way out. Oh, he's right in time. Oh, there's too many cats. Yeah, the music's definitely gone faster there. Well, yeah. There. Over there. <laughs> Over there in the music got a bit fast now. I <laughs> changed to a, a noof for a second there. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Okay, no mistakes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two mistakes instantly and fail. Especially on expert, you probably have definitely no chance of making a mistake. Get the, the bottom balloon before no, those. Can't. You can. Well, I'll crash through. Yeah. Yeah, but I won't get the top one. Yeah, but they're only worth 200 and it's worth. But I want to get everything. Yeah, but you won't. And it's <laughs> worth 2,000. I don't care. I wanted to get everything. Yeah, it's hey. worth it. It's worth it. I it's know. It's alone worth almost this like a th two thirds of what all the rest of that work was. I'm just saying. I know. I'm just saying it's is all. Strategy. Yeah, it, strategically, it was, it was not smart, but. I was going for. There's too many cats! There's too many cats! That's not a, that's, that's not a real thing. <laughs> True. Oh! There's too many cats! <laughs> but there's like like five things on the same line and it all looked fine, which is amazing for an Atari game. Especially. Why did you do that? Why did I get that thing? No, how did you pass through a cat? Uh, did I? No. Yeah, you, you came. You turned around. And he came off the thing, so there must be like a period between I, when I, he comes off, and you must have been just within that. I think when you're in the air, 
coming off a trampoline? He was coming off the, yeah, he was coming off the trampoline and you were headed towards it. You weren't on it yet. Mm. That's good. So I like that. I like forgiveness. Ah! Ah! Well, he's getting closer. Oh, almost. Oh. It is harder, I think, because I only made it to level four. But I also did some stupid stuff. <clears throat> oh, you get to put your name in a bit. Oh, yep. Come on. Oh, first. Oh, what happened? Oh, because oh, we're an expert. expert. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> you, spent, you spent valuable time being, <laughs> like, surprised. Yes, I was. <laughs> ah! Sod. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Please. Please, John, give us some more time to enter in our initials. Just a little bit more. Maybe he's going for, like, the arcade timing for everything. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you want to reset? No. <laughs> for a second there, you showed mercy. And then the mercy went away, like, surprisingly <laughs> quick. Right away. I was like, would you like your lives back now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Why are you playing at high difficulty? Yeah, um, we already played at the standard. So we wanted to see what the difference was um, on the hardest. And I think... I don't know. I can't really perceive it. Maybe the cat... Oh, you, I was going to get in... Oh, it's a high-risk game. Maybe there's a couple more cats, you think? There might be, like, one more cat. And they might be a little bit faster. Um, but, I mean, there's not... <laughs> or maybe they're smarter, actually. Like, they are following you closer. They'll get off... Oh, yeah, go, go again. <laughs> you know, you, Level one, that's not acceptable. I'm gonna have to put my name in, that's the shameful part. Oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> you guys have much more time to enter your initials, or maybe it's the latest version. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, so he says there should be more time, but I don't know. Maybe we were like just taking our sweet time that first time, which now makes us panic a lot. <laughs> Putting our initials no! in. No! Get away, cat! So, maybe we're just panicking about the initials thing, but it seemed really short the time it cut me off, but anyway. Maybe a two-player oh version? Oh, God. Two-player? Immediate no, you mouse can't... sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to get away, yeah. away, away. Um, I don't think you could make this two-player because the screen scrolls. How would you handle a mouse unless you've trapped each other? You know those games like Gauntlet where you can't move onward unless the other player is like near you and you're like get over here we need to get past this so you could handle it that way so both mice have to be no! in the same section so you could make a two player that way it's and, your turn now oh my goodness Shh. <laughs> just shush you just ignore it and move on yes, yes. it never <laughs> nothing happened. to see here so let's make it, let's put it on... <clears throat> I got 4,000 points on the first level. That's a thing that <laughs> that's, happened. That's a thing that happened for sure. I think that's better. I think that's better than average points. Because I got expert. bonus points twice. So we're going to try it on novice. But it, it cost me dearly. Just to see. It's really funny when he um, starts the game and he jumps on the trampoline. Mm -hmm. It kind of bounces a second after he gets off of it. <laughs> and then he looks at it and goes, what? I've got him. I got him. Oh. I think. He kind of walked away from it. But I did get him and I got points. A thousand points. What happened to him there? He just kind of flashed and died on his own. <laughs> Poor little guy. He's hiding. He's hiding. Ah! Oh, a little bit too late. He does hide a lot. It's very hiding. Yeah. I guess he's not in the... He's, he sends his minions to get you and he's trying to... A little bit evade you, a little bit go after you. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the graphics on the um, the MP, the lives down there, very clever. So he's got two colors on the same line, um, the white and the purple. Mm -hmm. So he's probably using um, either a ball or a missile to color in the background of the. Uh, of the MP, so mm -hmm. using uh, the baller missile for the for the purple, and then using a player for the uh, letters. Um, and he's 
triplicated it. So that's one character, but he's also got a balloon and a two and an equals. Oh, oh okay. He's used a baller missile for the equals and, and then changed the graphic for the two by the time it gets to that. So I figured it out. Very clever, very, very um, good use. Oh, got him. Didn't think he was that close enough for me to have that work. Oh, still going. Did I get after life? Did I die? No. Yes, I did. I think I died right away. That was terrible. Especially on novice. Okay. Are we on novice? Yeah, I switched over to novice just to see what the changes are. Very imperceptible. So, John, if you could post what the differences are, because it's really hard to tell. I'm, all I can guess is there's more cats on the harder one, and they move faster. Oh, ah! Oh, I mean, I'm, oh yeah, and it's red too. Yep. Ah, press the button. Oh, two-player alternating. Oh, okay. Yeah, not two-player in the same screen. Um, yeah, I didn't uh, give an option. Oh, my God. Yeah, I didn't give an option for two-player. It shouldn't be hard. You need, I have a couple more variables to keep track of. Some scores, whose turn it is. Um, whoa. Does the screen reset? No, it keeps the things that you have already got when you die. So you'd have to keep track of that as well. Um, so some variables for that. Um, so there's a fair amount to keep track of, but I wouldn't think that would be... Whoa. Oh, it knocked me back into the trampoline. Oh, but I did get a lot of cats. And I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Vengeance was theirs. Yes. As they returned. It's too many. Pause is the color black and white switch. Oh, very cool. I love it when games have, uh, new homebrews have pause. Oh. And those cats have pause, too. <laughs> <laughs> Swipe! Yeah, that's the claws you need to worry about. Because back in, like, the 80s and 90s, even Nintendo, well, some, some games, if they had, like, an information screen, you could put on the information oh, yeah, screen yeah. and kind of pause, but not many games back then had a pause pause button um because well you have to be hardcore <laughs> and uh what's that ah, what is that oh it was him sleeping uh, maybe he opened the door on himself can they open the doors or he was sleeping <laughs> he's taking he was a, a cat he was taking, taking a cat, cat now. yeah uh you got it before I did. made the pun <laughs> It's not a pun. It's just a real thing. This is a thing. Cats take naps. <laughs> and therefore they are cat naps. Yes. When a human takes a cat nap, that's something different. Yes. <laughs> so we're not cats. Open that door. I don't think you get points for just no. opening them. Well, it's just building there. Yeah. And but if there's a cat in the way, which is a pretty good chance, there's a lot of a lot of cats. Level six. I think oh. After this is the bonus level, so I get another chance at trying. Ah, uh, they're right after me. Nope, there they go. See, that guy went the opposite way. Mm -hmm. um, probably on the expert level, they wouldn't go the opposite way. Yeah, they would be more... Yeah, can, they can open the door. There we go. And knock themselves out. They're not super bright. <laughs> And if when you uh, open a door and hit yourself with the doorknob. <laughs> so you got to step out of the way of the door as you swing it open. The cats. Can you read that bottom one? Ah, I made a mistake already. Yes, cats can open doors except the glowing ones. If they open into themselves, they be, they'll be stunned for a few seconds. Okay. Any uh, information about difficulty and no I just read all of the thing there I didn't stop 
I just read all of it, so I don't see any, any explanation of the difficulty. I wasn't holding back on you. Okay. And what should I do? Do you have time? Yes. Then you, you go for the goal. I think. Nope, it's not going to nope. break in time. But I did get all the red balloons, which is good. I did get them before, but it's not good enough because I made like three mistakes. Too many mistakes. Yep. So level eight again, but this is on easy, so it doesn't really count. So what happens when you hit the bell? Uh, I think it kills all the cats. I think that's what he said. Should I do it now? Let's yeah. do it now. There's a lot of cats here. Okay, cats, meet your doom. Oh, below uh, you. What? That's... That works quite. Oh, oh it... stuns them. Uh. Okay. Well, hey, helps. Okay, cats, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. It's tricky to do that, though. It is, because By the time they room. jump on there, it kind of throws you into them. Uh. Although, you might be safe to do it there, because it might throw you back to that safe zone. Uh, true. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, another bell. Nice. I will keep that bell around. Actually, that's not a bad idea to lure all the cats over to you by just bouncing, bounce. Actually, it'll break, won't it? If you, um... Ah! So what was off that? the wrong level. What was the... Oh, time is up. Oh. Level time. Oh, okay. You did it! You got all the cats! You rounded them all up! <laughs> I rounded them up, hurting cats. Okay. Oh, it's my turn! Oh, yes. you gotta put your name. Oh, that's right. Should be easy, because I haven't had to put my name in a while. <laughs> <laughs> um, just two questions, Johnny. Uh, does it... Um, oops. Oh yeah, it's not recording the, the uh, scores. It is not recording the scores. Or you put it down to novice. We weren't on novice before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it so keeps like... them separately. And I'm taking a while to put in my name, so we'll see if it runs out. Uh, it's a fair amount of time. It's not too bad. Uh, I don't think you're making any sense. You <laughs> did it as fast as you could, almost as fast as you could, <laughs> yes. and then declared that there had been plenty of time. <laughs> When you, when, you, when you did everything perfectly. Plenty of time. Nonsense. Nonsense! <laughs> uh, hurry warning adds two cats to the maze. And they move faster. Okay. Oh, okay. So that makes it a lot harder. Um, does this support save key? Uh, the um, Atari Vox Plus um, save key feature um, for saving high scores. Um, and also, what is the difference between the different difficulty levels? Novice, standard... Expert, etc. Is there more cats, or do they move faster, or both? Those um, are the remaining questions. It will support save key in the final version. Awesome. Because I know you have to register your game with save key and ask them for a slot, because it is not unlimited. So eventually it will run out. Um, so get your game in today. <laughs> I don't know how many slave save slots it has, and I guess that also depends on how much room you take up or maybe it's just like slots and it's an x amount and you can use them however way you want to use that amount i haven't looked into it that closely got 10 six. Ten six? what what's 10 six? times six. Oh, times six. Oh, good good stuff because if you get them in a row oh uh, the cats six cats in a row no multiples uh, each time you get one it seems to increase the amount uh, like two three six something like that two, like three, if you five, get two six. pairs mm -hmm. right yep smack oh no oh, oh you're faster you're pretty fast right now the difference in the skill levels is more cats and they move faster which makes some sense and they're more aggressive follow you more often so I did guess correctly on all three. Um, but it is a combination of all three of them. All those three things. More cats, move faster, and they follow you more accurately. Still lots of slots free on save key. Oh, okay, good. Because I would think they would build in a whole bunch of slots because, you know, they wouldn't put 12 or 10 in because they'd be filled up within, like, a year. 
or just more than a year, because there's a lot of, a lot of amazing homebrew coming out. Oh, a little bit too slow. I heard it. I heard it. My finger got stuck. <laughs> stuck in the air. So after this game, we'll be moving on to Panky the Panda. Um, we did try and play Panky the Panda a couple weeks ago, um, but it has um, an unfortunate glitch, I would say, in the final version. Um, in the draw, in its way it draws each screen when it opens up, um, it either is drawing too many lines or it's, um, it's not uh, doing the V-Sync properly or... Um, you know, some, something in there, um, because if you watch closely when it goes to a new screen, um, just like in Aardvark, it goes like this as soon as you go to a new screen, which was throwing off um, both the Frame Meister and my LCD TV. Oh, you're kicking ass. Oh, you went for it. You had time. You had time. No, I didn't. I made no? an error, and oh, I okay. judged that. Went for the big bucks. Well, I got the points. It's true. That was worth no way bonus, more. No bonus, though. It was worth more. Yeah, I don't know if the bonus is Strategically, worth. Strategically, very sound. Uh-oh. Errors were made. <laughs> Errors were made. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, yes. Panky oh, the Panda. Oh, I threw myself. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> so we tried to play this. But every time it went to a new screen, it would glitch out. The Frame Meister was trying to auto-detect whether it was a new resolution. It would blank out the screen, and my LCD TV would blank out the screen as well. Um, which, on certain screens, when there was an enemy, would give it enough time to come over and kill us. Which made the game unplayable, unfortunately. But I found the setting in the Frame Meister to be more tolerable to um, drop out um, and I set it to the maximum and I did test it and Panky the Panda does play as well as Aardvark which we played um, on Wednesday and works perfectly now um, so I'm going to open up the case so that we can get prepared for Panky and this is a platformer game multi-screen platformer game no Death becomes you! It came in a beautiful box with instructions, and we will actually get to the instructions this time. Because last time we didn't even get to that because it was glitchy glitchy, unfortunately. <clears throat> but I'm very glad that it was kind of my equipment uh -oh. that at least could. Oh, no! Oh. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. Is that... It? Oh, I'll let you put your, your name in. The art... Yes. Um, yeah, I've had... I think I've seen some... Um, a thrust... Um, Thomas says that um, Aardvark will look way different than the version you played. Yeah, I saw that somebody was going to be working on the graphics. For Aardvark to do a revamp, and I, th I think I saw some previews um, that were different than the point nine version that was released on the Atari Age forums. So let's switch over to us, our big faces. There we go. <laughs> um, if you could put that in for me, be so kind. <laughs> Break in the camera. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Great success. Whoa, what the hell? <clears throat> Went right off the title screen. Let's get back to that. Let's go to the title screen. There we go. Don't press anything. Um, yeah. So Thomas uh, Thrust Twenty Six was saying, um, yeah, Aardvark is getting a graphic revamp before it's released on cartridge. Um, it looks pretty good right now, but I. I saw some previews of it and the graphics on the dirt and the aardvark at the top graphics and I think maybe the, the landscape up top are going to be different and it looks really 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 nice. Um, okay. Um, and uh, the difficulties on 
Panky the Panda, John says, um, we'll keep the same layout, but the positions of the prizes will be random. He wants to add a feature because I guess all the prizes are exactly the same. So if you know the pattern, you could easily get the doubles. Right. Okay, Panky, let's start this on normal, I guess. And uh, check it out. Some catchy, catchy music on Panky. And see, it didn't glitch out. Fixed it. You got that hedgehog thing. <laughs> I don't know the rules to this game. I thought maybe it was uh, Bonus. like a Mario thing. <laughs> oh, jumping on top of them. I find a lot of the Atari game platformers don't use that um, type of mechanics um, of jumping on top. You need a key. No! Oh, Panky! <laughs> <laughs> I know I have to go this way, though. Yeah, because you can't get through that door. So... Let me show you the uh, beautiful case here. Try not to interfere. <laughs> There's Panky, and I've turned off the autofocus because it was acting up, but that's fine because we only need to be in focus. <laughs> so beautiful uh, cartoonish you cover there. Busy. Yeah, you can keep going. <laughs> Not much of a continue, is it? So Pan Panky's running away from the dead no! de deadly red-eyed pigs and the Nothing bats. To see here. <laughs> Nothing to see here. And the fireballs, and he's got two keys. So I'm guessing there's some keys to get. It says, you hold the keys. Not yet. Your brother has been kidnapped and is being held in an old underground mine. Now you must embark on a quest to save him before it's too late. But be careful. The caves are filled with many dangerous obstacles. Good luck, Panky. Your brother is counting on you. For one player. Use joystick controller. Sadly, we will both die. Yes. <laughs> Panky, Sorry, bro. Panky and his unnamed brother will both die. <laughs> no point naming someone that's doomed to die. Doomed we were going to name him, dooms? but he, 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 ah! he's doomed. <laughs> <laughs> but you do get to continue, which is cool. Well, it's exactly the same as starting over in this case. Because you haven't made it to another checkpoint. Anywhere. I know there is checkpoints in this game. This is when I was testing it out after I fixed it. Um, I found a checkpoint at least. Oh, you can dive off very uh, tall buildings. That's good. Ah! But not into the pit. <laughs> as long as you don't cross a screen. Um, copyright 2010, published 2016. Wow, that's a big lag between that, eh? Six years to uh, put out the cartridge. That, um, or he put it out on a different um, uh, publisher. I'm not sure on the history of Panky. Uh, better use the map, uh, uh, Thomas says. <laughs> Shall we use the map? Well, maybe not yet. We'll see. We'll see how you do. When you get, I, I think what he's saying is, you're going the wrong way! <laughs> you want the map? No. Okay, not yet. We'll go for the... Oh, there you go. You found the first checkpoint. And I would think that if you found a checkpoint, you're going in the right way. Because why would you need a checkpoint? Well, you will eventually need to go this way. Well, this is death. Because there's a door, and you don't have a key for that door. I know Actually, the way yes. to get back to the, to the checkpoint. That's why well, you are at the checkpoint. You, I know how to instantly get back to the checkpoint. Die? I just did it. That's true. <laughs> and you don't have to trace back. And there's unlimited continues. Yeah. As long as you don't ah! lose keys. Well, which I was going to go down here. I know you're all <laughs> thinking... What was he doing? And what he was doing is he was going down that ladder. Yes. I love the, that you can just dive off and fall down. And those those platforms are definitely for going back. Uh, that looks like death. Let's Why see. would you make a room like this? <laughs> <laughs> what is that room for? <laughs> Maybe you can like jump up into that room. Oh, but I'm not at the same checkpoint. What? What? Boo his boo. What? Oh, what is this continue thing that is being deceptive? Okay, I'm gonna go right to continue. To continue, select the continue option at the end of your game. While you will start the game at the very beginning, <laughs> you will retain all your inventory. 
In addition, all unlocked doors will remain unlocked. Ah, if you that do is that, significant. Okay, or that, could be significant. It, yes. But it's not for me in this particular instance. No, we haven't found a key <laughs> or opened any doors yet. I think yet. it's in the minimum requirements where it says uh, that you need an Atari 2600. <laughs> it should also say you should be able, you should be have some skill at jumping in a platform. <laughs> Minimum, because as it is, I don't meet the minimum requirements. <laughs> do not buy if you do not meet the minimum requirements of being able to jump onto a platform. <laughs> <laughs> so this game was. Uh, Can't tell if this room is hot or if it's just me. It's really hot. So we'll let the cats in again. So stand still. So you don't die. It's not like it's an action. Super action. I can open the windows. Too. We're not that loud. <laughs> Did I mess you up? I, I knew you were moving, I was just like, I can do it. <laughs> I don't need to wait. <clears throat> my cockiness is, is uh, getting, is increasing faster <laughs> than my skill level. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing. It's Sometimes. not, it's a bad thing Sometimes, for sure. I don't know, is co cockiness conflated with confidence? Is it, is it, is it related? It's related in a bit. It's related, but it's not necessarily. It's, it's not as good as confidence. No. It's like well, confidence without anything backing it up. Cockiness right. is confidence that you don't, you can be cocky and skilled. And you can be cocky yes, and you, you can. can be good enough to do the thing. You can. It's just that it, cocky, if you're being cocky, it means that someone else thinks that you're more confident than you should be. And they might be right. And... A little bit of a prick too. There's the map. I, that is this is not, not helpful. <laughs> is this the map you're talking about? No, no. Hey, no. buddy, what are you doing? Hi, Atari. Meet Atari. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> meet Atari. If you haven't met Atari. Hello. Aw. He's being so very let's patient. Let's see. I do like platformers. He does have a bit of a momentum, so you do have to watch out for the. Especially on a platformer that... Uh, oh, that's where your keys go at the bottom. It just looks like two blue boxes, and it, at first it tricks you into thinking you might be able to land there. <laughs> it's just oh. that I've never found anything uh. ever, and so there's never been anything in it. But that's what the <laughs> screen looks like when you've had some success. Yeah, uh, the, the camera's not on autofocus, so. but it's good enough to get a blurry shot of <laughs> <laughs> a blurry shot of it. <laughs> you should get some uh, uh, ink and make your B button red so that it applies when Stand it says out. press the red fire button. That's true. I should turn these into like semi official 2600 um, Genesis controllers. Is this where, is this the direction you went? Yes, this is the death direction. Is it? Uh, this doesn't look like it. Oh, it is. It's literally <laughs> where I was. But I don't want to die. Not that it would make much of a difference. Because I haven't made it that far, but... Oh, duck goons. These trained guard ducks will do whatever it takes to keep you from completing your quest. Be quick or be quacked. Is that the first page? No. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning. <laughs> I didn't read the first page. I didn't even make it there. Oh, right into the pit. Uh, oh, okay. So gameplay. The poacher's lair is packed with various minions as well oh, as secret a rooms. A you, I think you read that. No. Nope. Help. Panky, help. I've been kidnapped. I'm not sure where the kidnappers are taking us. All I know is that they are keeping us locked up in a dark cave. They're also using brainwashed animals to guard the cave. <laughs> Please find me before it's too late. Spanky. This is not the right direction. Spanky Our... does have a name. <laughs> His yes. parents did name him. They had hope, Daily hope news. for him. Yeah, this is the newspaper clipping. Read it yourself. <laughs> uh, Daily news. Poachers steal rare panda from zoo. Last night, a team of poachers robbed uh -huh. the city zoo, stealing a truckload of rare animals, including Zippy, the porcupine, and Spanky, the panda. Police were called to the scene early this morning to investigate, but so far, no evidence has been recovered. And over here so it's up to me. is some sort of city, and then there's more city, and this, where it says Poacher's Cave, is on a little island. Oh. There'll be no help. You're, lo you're on an island with, like, it looks green, so it must be some sort of uh, forest or something. Maybe I did say park. we're in a cave, though. 
I think. Yeah, that's it takes... like even worse. Yeah. You're on a cave on an island where nobody lives. <laughs> well, good uh, place to hide out and kit for kidnapping. Gameplay. The poacher's lair is packed with various minions as well as secret rooms disguised as unassuming walls. So stay on the lookout. Cats eating the cable. Yes. Which is never good for gameplay. Depending on the amount of keys and special <laughs> items in this in his inventory, Panky can move through over 120 danger-filled screens. <gasps> 120? A door! Below is a sample gameplay screen. And then there's a picture of a sample gameplay screen. <laughs> yeah. Refer to the thing that's on your screen right now. <laughs> yes. Ooh, whoa. Uh, controls. The staff of the system is described in the console's Die. manual and plug a joystick into the left control port. At the title screen, you may choose... At the title screen... Ah! You I may choose your difficulty setting. Use your controller to cycle through the three difficulty options. Normal, hard, and impossible. I made it. <clears throat> it's got a key, wow. So now you have to go to the <laughs> in the dangerous, the death direction. That's where the blue door has. Oh, was that? Okay. Yeah. The first one you found? No, not... Uh, or the right-hand direction that we started off in. The one where you said, where you said, this looks like the impossible way. That was where I believe the blue door was. Unless there's a... Similar to blue, but not blue color. Oh, well, hopefully they use very here. primary colors. I don't think so. I think it was the blue door. Because okay. there's no key that looked as though it might have been that one. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Once you have selected your difficulty setting, press the red button to start a new game. The red button. Red. Whichever button red. is red. Use the joystick and fire button to make Panky run, climb. Sorry. <laughs> to make Panky run, climb. Run, climb. <laughs> to make Panky run, climb ladders, and jump. To run left or right, move the joystick left or right. To jump, press the red fire button. It doesn't say red this I time, it just says fire one. button. Oh, okay. To climb up or down the ladders, push the joystick up or up to climb and pull down to descend. Huh. Or yeah. to climb down. I have to contend with cats and... Well, these are some of the animals that were not kidnapped. <laughs> and they not just escaped from the zoo. <laughs> They're... They... Hello. This is Pixel. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I'm doing good. Are you super champ. Thanks for letting me in. He's usually the troublemaker. Well, they're both troublemakers. In different ways. This guy just likes getting in your face and getting all over the equipment. Uh, hey, Mr. Smush. What are you doing? But I still have the blue key. To collect an item or activate a trail, oh. a trail marker, simply I'm run distracted. through it. Yeah. The, the round things. Yeah. Okay. To continue, select the continue option at the end of your game. While you start the game at the very beginning, you remain. You will retain all of your inventory items. In addition, all unlocked doors will remain unlocked. Hooray. If you do not wish to continue, simply select quit to end your game. Or turn off your game console. Or walk away and <laughs> never walk return. Away. Yeah, right into the fireball. <laughs> Enemies, bats, these flying cave dwellers don't cut... Don't take kindly to strangers invading their turf. If a bat spots you, it'll make a quick beeline for your head. Too bad you're too fat to duck. What? Shame. It is. It's fat shaming. It is a fat shaming manual. If you're too fat to duck. That means there's no duck. There is no ducking. Down does nothing except on ladders. I opened my first door. Yeah, you did. You get to keep the key. Does that mean there's more blue doors? Cave pigs. Cave pigs. Cave pigs are a rare species of pig <laughs> that lives in dark caves. Although their eyesight is not great, cave pigs have an excellent sense of smell. I bet you wish you weren't wearing your bamboo number five right now. <laughs> Duck goons. These trained guard ducks will do whatever it takes to keep keep you from completing your quest. Be quick or be quacked. That was worth repeating. That was. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Are you trying to adjust the camera? Yeah. Well, he says, if I was trying to adjust the camera, the camera would be adjusted, sucker. <laughs> there is no try. Obstacles. Fireballs occasionally underground. Fireballs. Occasionally the underground lava stream will spit fireballs. Avoid these unless you like your panda well done. Oh, well. Spiked platforms. The poachers have left these timed spiked platforms in various parts of the cave. Be careful. One touch will instantly kill you. Ah! I guess they're poison spike platforms. Another key. Brown key. Feel as though you're cheating. Am I playing well? <laughs> Maybe. 
<laughs> I've been watching, so I can't I can't vouch for your having played well. I think that I've that door keys. was the first door. The oh, it may be actually yes, because I think I said brown. But it may be just deja vu kicking that in. That is brown though, and the first door might have been gold. Ah. Maybe I should just die. No, nope. kick me back to oh, not the beginning. When beginning? you when you run out of lives and continue, that's yes. not the beginning though. Okay, I'll just die. <laughs> <laughs> it is... You're using my uh, strategy. <laughs> ah, Ugh, that was not on purpose. Yeah, you're but not it supposed is part to of the game, game, like resetting. So use it to your advantage if you're. If he sees your head, it'll he'll make a beeline for it. Except that time oh. he made a beeline away from your head. Come on, I want him to make a beeline. Is that the right color? I think it is. All right, two doors open. How many keys? Six? Uh, We're two-sixths so. of the way through now. We may have to use yep, the map for a bit, but okay. not yet. Hidden items, doors, and keys. The poacher's cave contains six locked doors. Each door has a unique color. To open the specifi specific door, you must find the key that matches that door's color. This is easier said than done. However, since the, since the poachers have scattered the six keys throughout the cave, Sorry, this is easier said than done, however, since the poachers have scattered the six keys throughout the cave. Candle. The candle will help you navigate the parts of the cave that are extremely dark. No, dark caves. I hate, hate dark levels. High jump boots. While white men can't under. jump, the same can't be said for black and white pandas, at least not while wearing these special boots. Racially insensitive. I don't know if it's... Maybe it is. I guess if you're white and sensitive, <laughs> this is the fact. Uh, flute. Legend has it that blowing this magical lost flute will open up a hidden part of the cave. Guess you'll have to find the flute to know for sure. Oh, and boy. also a hidden part of the cave. Oh, is that a bonus? Or... Legend has it. Legend. So, so it's a legend, not a bonus. Okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> Holy book, with this book in your possession, you might not be able to walk on water, but you just may be able to walk on air if you have enough faith. I'm just gonna die. Because I don't want to use up my lives. Water, walking on water. Wow, is a lot to this game. Snow boots! You'll wow. Need... Even more. You'll need some extra traction for some of the more icy areas of the cave. Ah. Thankfully, a brand spanking new pair of snow boots are hidden somewhere in the cave. Yeah, baby. Uh, keys. All the keys you can... Oh, using your inventory. All the keys you collect... All the keys that you collect will appear in the top portion of your inventory area. Special items. All right. Any special item you collect will be displayed in the bottom section of your inventory area. To so select a specific item, simply push down your controller to cycle through your inventory. Oh, very smart. <coughs> Tips and tricks. Except while on the ladder. <laughs> yeah. sure. Tips and tricks. Not all walls are what they appear. The oh, cave is no. filled with secret pathways used by the poachers. Some areas cannot be passed without a special object. No. Each animal exhibits its own behavior. Learn each animal's behaviors, and your trek through the cave will be that much easier. Lost? Use the map that came with the game. Special thanks. Game design and programming, Ben Larson. Packaging design, Brian Ostrowski. Manual text, Brian Ostrowski. Published by AtariAge.com. Notes. The notes are empty right now. Oh, yeah, if you wish to defile your manual, I oh, guess. I can do it for you if you want. Oh, if you could write your name in there and little maps. No, no, no. I just wrote doot doot. Okay. It wasn't a real note. Okay, good. <laughs> <clears throat> so we don't need the map just yet. Because I'm still exploring lots of things that I haven't been to yet. Look oh, out, there's a bat! He's gonna bat. fly straight at your head! Get out of here, bat. I'm gonna go this way first. Big, 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 oh, a door. Wrong door. Whee! Get out of here, bat. Get. Get you gone. Ah! No! Ah! Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, it's way back. Well, not way out, pretty far back. I'm gonna go down. <laughs> Not that way. Yeah, you did. Oh my god. 
How's your butt taste there, uh, Atari? Nummy, taste. nummy butt! Good tasting butt! <laughs> Just the flavor I like. My flavor. Can you guys hear us, or is the music too loud? Hopefully it's not too loud. I'm gonna go down this time instead, because when I went up, there was a door. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh, good. This one is a very tight jump. Any tips or tricks other than use the map? <laughs> Ooh, look, duck! What was the duck about? I couldn't remember. Uh, the duck will... Uh, you'll be quacked if you don't uh, get uh, out of the duck's way. Yeah, it just goes straight for you. Like, you're... Great! You might Hooray. need you might need the boots that let you uh, walk on air, so don't go there. Yeah, definitely. You do need faith, uh, <laughs> but not. I think it's the book. <laughs> I think it's the book. The maybe. Book? Yeah, there's a book that won't let you walk on water, but it might let you walk on air. Okay, it's time for the map. Will the map show me where keys are? I don't think so. It'll just show mm, the map. Yes. No. no. You open the map. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna I've be blamed for destroying. For destroying the, the crease. The holy creases that must not be uncreased. <laughs> yes, exactly. Or pushed backwards. Or that's wrong. The creases are the wrong thing. Mm, no, You're treating the creases as though they're correct, but they're the they're the thing that's wrong on the map. They're not. So, the map came flat to begin with. This is incomplete. <laughs> this is this is partial map. This is like only like the first part. Look at this. Oh, it does show keys. Oh, nice. Okay. Is that the key that you got? I did get that key. Here? Yeah, I did get the red, the brown key mm -hmm. over the fireballs. I think that would be a good one to get the red key next. I don't know how you get through that. Yeah, that might be not good. We have the gold key. Need the gold key. Maybe we want to go for the gold key. Because that doesn't look like there's any barriers. Where are we starting? There. <laughs> Entrance. Okay. Up, 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 up. Ah, uh, but there's a green door in the way there. You can go here, though. To the left? Yeah, you can go from here, across here, and up. then there, and then you have to hop. Up, 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 up. Yes. Those two ways? And then you have to make sure that you don't get ducked. What? That wasn't me. Somebody. Okay. Yes. Okay, let's do that. Let's go for the gold key. So. Okay. <laughs> You'll be the navigator? Let's go for the okay. gold key. Tell me where which way to go. Left, uh, left. Uh, just take a left at the, the, way? the cave pig. <laughs> and then straight across. Left, left, left. Mm -hmm. And then touch that thingy. Okay. And then don't burn your butt. Okay. I mean, you can burn your butt if you want. And then, okay, now you want to go up. Okay. And then you want to go a little less up. Okay. Obviously, there's nowhere else to go. Nope. Oh, this, I think... <laughs> I think <laughs> you might not be able to get there from here. No. Okay. Try going down. Okay, so go back to but the... But I can't get go... through there, so... Because I need a green key, so if you could find the green key... Is that green? I'm just gonna yeah, die must so I green. get reset, because I think I died already. Green key... That's a blue key... This is incomplete! Maybe I should go for the red key. You can't. There's a wall. I need to get you need ice? something. What was it describing? The thing? It might be the thing that gets you past the ice, but it just looks like a wall. But it might be. Most of the mappy dev team is in the, in the chat <laughs> channel. That's pretty cool. 
Oh, they're like discussing uh, technical issues. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Spiceware, yes. Um, I am not paying for uh, streaming on Twitch, so it only keeps like a month of my streams or two weeks. So all of the streams are on my uh, YouTube, cha our YouTube channel. So if you just search for Zero Page Homebrew on YouTube, all of the streams that I've ever done are on there. And I posted the one from Wednesday uh, last night. Uh, okay, so what sh I'm gonna go found the green key? No, but I'm thinking if we go up here, it might be over here somewhere. Okay. Uh, left and then up and then right. Okay. Yeah. You... Watch out for the cave pig! Is that the cave pig? Yeah. Funny. And I would like to say that the graphics are very good in this, too. Very nice panda. Um... Ah, ah! Don't do that. If you fall, you die. Yes. I'm Watch out! I'm wondering why the ladders are flashing. Not sure why they would need to do that. Because there's nothing else there. They could be done with a second player. Like, I don't I don't see the need for flashing. All the graphic all the um the play field. All the maze, I mean, is um, done with play field. And the panky is done with, um, oh, no, no, panky's only done with one player. It's only one color at a time, so we're going right now. Yeah. yeah I don't know why they did that. Oh, I hit my head. Oh, is this the beginning? Yeah. Oh, I'm just going to die. I need all my lives. Fair. Oh, when you got to the top... Yeah, you missed this. Oh, Ugh. it was it was like you went because I went straight right. Over. Yeah, that was dumb. Yeah, dumb, dumb, dumb. Even though I am going to the right, I should just touch the uh, touch the continue thing. Yeah, I don't know why the ladders are in that way. They could easily be done, as far as I know. Definitely far from a programmer. Have not barely begun starting to do programming. I do want to uh, start doing programming this year. There, I'll go touch that. Um, Watch out for the pig. Yes. And don't let that thing hit you in the head. <laughs> oh, I Am I telling you that. not to do that didn't help? No, not at all. You have to tell me maybe in a different way or I don't know don't let that <laughs> thing hit you on the head oh there you go that, see that work that's that how you that do thing it. hit me on the head <laughs> some of these jumps are like okay so this is it uh, this, that's this, the end uh, I've got the key that's there so this is dead dead end yeah it was only just covered by this so I uh, thought um uh, okay I'm gonna die and go back to the beginning and I'm gonna go... That's the only place that's missing then. That means that... And that is a chasm. That direction. Mm -hmm. So it's either that... There's gotta be a way to get through this wall, which no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if they're saying that, then no. And they you also, make... I think, need jumpy boots to get up there, yes. don't you? So that. I'm gonna go for and that. And so to get this, you need the snow boots. And the snow boots are here. And to get there, you need to fit through the crack by losing a pound or 40. Which I don't. So have grab food. the book and see what item you need for that. But it's, yeah. But I haven't found anything. Like, no items yet. I know, but we just need to see which items you need to find. Okay. So you need, uh, high jump boots, snow boots, a flute. Okay. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, so you probably need the flute. Because maybe I'm like not seeing. I'm, I'm guessing boards. you need. I'm guessing you need the flute to get through there, because it says there's a crack. Yeah. And so the flute, and it says it opens a hidden part of the cave. That makes sense. So let's see if we can see a flute somewhere. So um, you need to get through here to get the snow boots, because the snow boots are there. Uh, but so what do oh, we need to get through this? Look at this. That's what this room is about that thing that wall so somehow that has to disappear 
What if I just jump into it? Maybe it's not really there. Hey, try. <laughs> <laughs> it's there. <laughs> Turns out it really is there. <laughs> um, what should I try see. for? That? No, because you can't get through here yet. We need the flute. I've, I've got that. There. I've been everywhere. I've been Have everywhere. you been here? Uh, no. No, I tried and I couldn't get there because I couldn't jump up from there to there. Mm -hmm. I don't have the green key, so I can't go that way. But where is the green key? There's no green key on this map. Where's the green key? <laughs> I'm going to go this way. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to go to the right. And maybe I missed, because it's totally undrawn. Mm -hmm. And there's multiple ways to the right. Oh, okay. So this is probably the best bet at this point, because I've yeah, yeah. exhausted I thought the, the rest I thought of the you'd map. already exhausted that way. No. Oh, okay. So this is the right way. Otherwise, I have no idea. And I'm, like, missing a secret entrance, because I did say there's some hidden spots. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's down, and there's up. Which way have you gone? And there's to the right. Have you gone to the right before? Go I, to the right. Yeah, I think I've gone to the right, and that is the chasm. Okay, then don't go that I, way. I've definitely gone to the right. Okay, go down. Yes. Let's go down. Uh, this looks like you can't get back. Oh, uh, oops. Oh, yep. Was it, was it too far of a jump to uh, get back? No, I just mean that, look. Oh, maybe you oh, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, that's, never mind. I think that's just... I got no skills. Yeah, okay. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh! 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 <laughs> Am I stressing you out by my strategic falling? Those are tricky. I've been this way. Oh, you've way. been this way. Okay, well, is let's this see the what chasm? it does. Maybe this is the chasm. And I should... Yes. I'm gonna... Ah! So... Uh... You went onto a different screen. Yeah, but it didn't help because... No, uh, there's still you don't want to go back. There's, yeah, there's... You need the... I need to go uh, up. Then. Long jump boots or the walk on water... Walk on air boots. Yes. So let's go to the right because I thought this was the chasm to the right. But maybe I was just unskilled. Do you remember this? Yes, I've been here. I've been here, but maybe I haven't been far enough. Oh! Watch for cats. That cat may walk on paper. Oh yeah, and then I will get blamed for it. Definitely. I'm dying on purpose. Because I want all oh, my it's lives. definitely on purpose. <laughs> that one was. The first one wasn't because, you know, why would I die on purpose with my first man? Come on, bat. Come back here. Okay, now we're gonna go to the right. I'm guessing the save key doesn't work in this. You can't turn it off and continue. It does an Anguna, which we do need to continue as well. Eventually. We may play that next time. Now there's up and down. Uh, try down. Okay. There must be a secret passage. Try it. Because th why would they make this room? Well, they could make it just to frustrate you. Well done! <laughs> yes. So far, so good. <laughs> no, maybe there's a ladder down... Ladder, secret ladder, down, no, just a dead end, well done you, oh, that would be nice if it continued falling um, to the next screen, but it does not, even though the chasm seemed to do that. Uh, but you got off the edge. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So it went to the next screen over. Yeah, and it's just that the next screen over also is nothing this that point. Yeah. So you're allowed to fall to the right. <laughs> just not fall down. I'm going to play it safe and do it this way. Don't think I've... No, I think I have been this way. Maybe not. But at least it's a new way. Now there's two more. Okay. Okay. It's a red well, door. Red door there. 
go back. Ah! <laughs> oh no! Okay. <laughs> which way was it? It was up? To make maps. Like in the old days. <laughs> Draw them out. I mean, it's nice that they get you started, I guess. That's what that map is, because why would they... Why would you print in a perfect map of the whole game? Now it's to the right, then up. Yeah. yeah. So. Weird game, somebody says. It's, uh... It's pretty cool, actually. The controls are really good. Like, really, really responsive. Any mistakes that I've been making are definitely on me, and not the game. There's a really nice um, mid-air movement. The arc is amazing. Like, like, nin uh, like Mario Brother Nintendo quality. Like, it's really, really good. Um, and the uh, momentum is really good. You feel the weight of the panda yeah, yeah. Um, moving. It's amazing. Um, Oh, he's very heavy sometimes. <laughs> he is. There's a, it's like everything is made of ice. Just a little bit of ice, not too bad. Oh, come this on. Did you have those wheely shoes, you know? Like with, yes. with the heels, with the wheels on the heels? Definitely. That's what these guys, guys wear. Why you'd wear those shoes on an adventure like this? I don't know. You can leave the door open too. It's getting warm. Get warm. Get warmish. Okay, to the left. Left. Okay, bat, stay over there. To the left. To the left. Come on, bat. Get over. And now the black and white cat's back. Okay. Oh my god. You maybe got whatever was there. Maybe there might have been a key here. Oh, okay. Oh. Death. Okay. Still going to the right. There's another passage, right? There's up right away. I there think. was also uh, going to going to the right, where this past the spikes, and then you went up, but you could have gone down. Or did we go down and discover there was nothing down there too? There was because no. we went there. straight down and discovered there was nothing down there. Okay. Like I think over and over then. and then down we haven't done. Okay. Maybe. It does look familiar now. Yep. That's okay. It was somewhat short. Mm. No, no. <laughs> Oops. God. I wanted to go down again just because... No, no, it doesn't help. Because I thought, oh, there's another platform on the right, but all it does is lead you to there. So it doesn't lead you to another But room. it might. Go down. Go down. Do it. Check out the thing you were thinking about. Yeah. Funny, you can only go down a ladder. Yeah, I was just gonna hop up there. Mm -hmm. No, you can't. I don't think you can do that. I'll try one more time. No, I don't think you can make it. I think what you can do. No, you're not allowed to go down a level without a ladder. I was thinking you go down on that side. Maybe you can. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like a hidden spot where it's yeah. like, oh, that's where you get the food or get the walking shoes. Okay. Empty room with a pig. Yep, just a pig. So and what was down from here? I'm sure we've done it. Isn't this what we... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sure we exhausted this one. I think all that's left is that up ladder down. I I don't I didn't see this part. I remember this. It's the duck and then it's the chasm. The chasm of chasminess. Yeah, that I can barely jump across, but then die. Maybe I should. No. Hey, why not? I mean uh, it, it gets you back to the start quicker. <laughs> True. Ah <laughs> oh. Okay, now I'm gonna die on purpose. And then go up the ladder. Okay, you, haven't you gone up before? I don't remember what was up there, so you have to do it anyways, even if you yeah. did. 
because that's like the last direction. I think we've exhausted everything past that. Uh, to the right and down. Definitely is like, oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> hey buddy, slippy, how are you slippy doing? panda. What's going on over here? Are you feeling like a lap cat suddenly? Yeah, right. He's not the lap cat. He's a bit of a lap cat right now. Tari's the lap cat. He's a half lap cat. I think the only time he was a lap cat, cat was when he was. Oh my god, he can't get up there. It's over. Hit an impasse up there. Uh, yeah. Because it was too high of a jump. I've exhausted every route, I think. Um, unless the game is so bad that you can't, like in, like so incomplete that you can't, then you haven't. No, I'm sure. I, but I, I. You have to go up there. Get, get, get over there. Try it again. I can't. It's too high of a jump. You think that's what... I don't know. I think we need to find a something. If we could find one type of of special thing. We need a panky playthrough. Hi. Interfering cat. Oh my goodness. See? Look, look at this. My head barely gets gets up there. Oh, I didn't even... <laughs> I thought it was the previous screen. I see what you're oh, saying. Yeah. No. You should start mapping yourself. Well, we may have to continue this another day. So we do have to get to the third game. And I think we did a pretty good job. Danger. I think that pushes in. It does. Okay, so let's get on to the third game. That um, I just didn't want to put any pressure at all on it because no, I didn't no, want no. to be that murdered. Would, that would be uh, murder. <laughs> Insta murder. Insta murder. Um, we will come back to that <clears throat> game and do a map for yeah. sure. Um, but that's like a Wednesday show or something where we go back to it. So this is Conquest of Mars. I just said that like an Eastern Canadian. Conquest of Mars. I said Mars. <laughs> Conquest of Mars. <laughs> Terrible. Um, and this was also um, made by John Champeau, um, the guy who made the um, first game that we played. And this was also under the Champ Games title. There's the blurry cover. It uh, still says we're playing Mappy. Oh no, did I not change that again? I think you did, but then you changed it back. No, I did not. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> uh, We're very professional. We are. What Especially... is game three? Game three is Conquest of Mars. And I have not played this game at all. <clears throat> and this is fir this is John's first game. And uh -oh. you did. What? Did Death it start? Becomes... Oh, maybe it was the demo. So you can shoot downward. And you're moving downwards. And I know this is, uh, this was, this is a port of an earlier game. And I believe it's called the Caves, the Caves of Mars, Caverns of Mars, something like that. <laughs> One of those things. <laughs> yeah, I did buy this um, within the past couple of years. So like um, the I, I was one. talking with John Shampo about his game. And he said, "This is th th there is a newer version, and so if you bought it after 2010, this is the um, uh -oh. this is the newer version." And I did buy this after 2010. I bought it like mm, within the past two years. I can't say exactly. Um, so this should be the fixed version. Oh, Rena Rena Foot says this is the one in my book too, and on the cover. Very very cool. Um, so another... They can't see me playing, can they? Oh, no. Oh, good. I mean, I wasn't playing. <laughs> he wasn't playing at all. <laughs> he just started. 
and he's doing really well, really well. I haven't even died yet. So if uh, you're new to the show, what we like to do is play, th if I've never played the game before, I like playing the game. We like playing the game without instructions to see how intuitive it is and how well we can do without knowing anything about the game at all. Um, so it looks like there's fuel. The fuel's going down and there's F, very standard. Uh, bombing the fuel somehow gives you fuel. <laughs> As in every, it's a, every it's a, early game. It's a zero-sum game. <laughs> That's right. If you, don't have, if you don't have the fuel, I have the fuel. Oh, wow, changes. Okay. And you get uh, five lives. Oh. Now you're down to three lives. And there's like a... Oh, there's more fuel here. And you can die by touching the sides. So it's like operation. Don't touch the sides. And there is some sort of progress meter in the middle as well. Ah! Maybe that's how far you go. We will read the instructions after we both played a game. But we, will, but we like to try it out because back when we were first playing games in the 70s and 80s, we got them without manuals. We just got the cartridge or got it on a disc for, from somebody. Continue. The only game I, I played continue. in the 70s, oh, to be flippy. fair, was uh, Pong. <laughs> not Pong. It, I played not Pong. Not Pong. It was <laughs> the, the not Pong. The not Pong Pong. It's Pong, but it's not Pong. Yeah. It wasn't made by Atari. Which I said uh, previously, uh, at some point, I dismantled to see <laughs> what was inside. Oh, like an actual console Pong. Yeah, non-Pong. Oh, nice. Um, was it like paddles, like little rotating things? Yep. Yeah. Were, were they separate or on the console? They were itself? on the console, yeah. Okay. Uh, two player, obviously. The usual yeah, two yeah. player. Did it have a? There one? was no AI. No AI at all. It was no. only two player. So I definitely only played D a very, it... very little bit because I had no way to play with. <laughs> oh, a sad childhood. Poor me. Um, was it like the six in one where it was like, this is hockey. This is table tennis. <laughs> it's like, it's something no, it's like not. That. I don't know how many it had, but it did have more than one. Yeah. It's like, this re This resembles hockey I think it did no have a single player. Oh, you can single... up and down. Yeah, I think it had single player, but single player was... Squash? I could be... Yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing. I actually don't remember. I didn't play it that much because, well, I didn't think it was all that exciting. Mm. Even then, I didn't think it was the hottest thing. <laughs> Even though it was like the only thing you could play at home. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't have it when it was new. I would have oh, thought it was okay. cool then. I had it when, you know, the world had, had better games. And, and when I say the 70s, I mean that was possibly 1980. Okay. In fact, probably 1980. Right, so when television uh, was out, Atari 2600 was out, um, uh, Odyssey was out, home computers were out. Yeah, so Pong was not the only game in town anymore. That's right. Does this end? I mean, I was only eight. <laughs> I'm the oldest. I, I so. never actually encountered a Pong game when I was young. Mm. Um, I would have thought I would have, but no. It was uh, in televisions, Coleco's, Atari's, you know, the standard fare. The thing oh, that God. happens is hard. it won't. The reason it's hard oh my God. is that when you shoot, both bullets have to hit something before you can shoot again. Right. One and of what's those happening games. is you're killing a thing. And that's what I discovered when I was playing in my first time, and it the, took me a while. The to reset. The reset, so and that you can shoot again. They both have to hit something both or go off the screen. You don't get your left one back. When your left one hits, both of them have to hit something. Well, this part is definitely a lot easier. This this maze part is easier than the onslaught that happens afterwards. But at least they give you five lives. That's very generous. Of course, we are playing novice. It looked like I didn't notice the. And so this is uh, John's first game. It so. seems that the bullets die uh, against die together against the rocks, though. So uh, if one hits the rock and another one could go further, it yeah. won't. Because uh, uh, I saw do it, one. Do it now. Do it now. Nope. Nope. It does continue. Sorry, I'm uh, Something you didn't explode early on that I expected to, is all. Okay. So I think we played it enough that we pretty much figured out what these levels are about. Crush the Rebellion! In the year 4014, the planet Earth and the planet Mars are locked in a century-long war. 
The Martians have devised a plan to destroy Earth using the power from their latest weapon, the Destructo Bomb. I think by 4014, you could probably assume the Martians are humans that have now colonized Mars and are like, like if, if there was a colony on Mars, wouldn't you think they would be called Martians? Like, of course, they the will humans, be. That would be on. They, yeah, for they sure. Will be, yeah. So that's what I'm going to say. Um, but they want to destroy the Earth, apparently. The Martians forces have managed to construct five bombs and place them deep inside the Martian caverns, awaiting the final command from their leader to attack. Do you have the skill to navigate to the depths of the Martian caverns, activate the Destructo Bombs, and escape before they explode? No, we don't. <laughs> Good luck, as we have not encountered even the first bomb. Gameplay. You begin the game with a fleet of five ships. Right. <laughs> Your turn. There you go. <laughs> fleet of five ships. Gameplay, you begin the game with you begin the game with a fleet of five ships. Move it. Oh, I continue. Should we continue? Yeah, let's continue. Sure. Maneuver your ship through the many stages of the six caverns while avoiding the jagged walls and enemy arsenal. Along the way, you must shoot the fuel pods to keep your ship's engines moving. Once you reach the base of the cavern, activate the Martian Destructo Bomb and escape to the surface before it detonates. Your game ends when all of your ships have been destroyed, or your ship is trapped in the cavern while escaping and bomb explodes. Oh, oh, or, per or possibly when you win? <laughs> yeah, yeah, game is over when you win, because it does sound like there's an end to this. You win when the game. You win the game when all six caverns have been cleared and the Martian rebellion has been crushed. Crushed. A lot of homebrew now have ends to games, which is kind of kind of nice. Like you know, you're not going to be playing faster and faster and faster and faster until you have no chance of even playing. Um, so there's an incentive, more of an incentive to go back and play mm. rather than score, because it's more like modern that way. I yeah. think. Yeah. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. I don't think we're going to make it to even the first bomb, but with the continue, I have hope. I using have hope. Er, using the controllers, plug one controller into the left controller jack for one-player games. Done. Plug a second controller <laughs> into the right controller jack for two-player games. What? In two-player games, the player using the left controller starts the game. Oh. Hold the controller with the red hold the controller with the red fire button to your upper left towards the television screen. What? Press the red fire button to start the game. Use your joystick to maneuver. Nah. Use your joystick to maneuver your ship. Press left and right to move your ship side to side, and press up to slow down, and press down to move faster. Wh by which they mean press up to go up and down to go down. <laughs> oh, oh, something oh, oh, oh. new! Oh, I think I made it. Oh yeah, look at the little thing at the bottom. I'm at the last. Oh, it's getting narrow. Got lots of fuel too. Excellent. So I'm not like touching anything. Okay, enemy destroyed. Fly up. Bomb timer set. Escape time 30. Well, do I have control of the speed? Yeah, no, but you have control of whether you're at the top of the screen or not. I do. Uh, maybe I don't want to be at the top. That's, Whoa, yeah, maybe I do not want to be at the top of the screen. Whoa! Oh, no, you exploded. I do want to continue. Sorry, did I take... You get to play. You can't <laughs> shoot now. Oh my god. It's gonna be short. <laughs> I need to be on the bottom. Does it Okay. Does it slow or speed up? No, it doesn't. So being at the bottom is totally fine. Yeah. That's what I was worried about. Because like timer, like why oh oh you press a button to go faster. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. What are those things? Do I have to crash into them? No. I have no fuel. No fuel concerns. This is a uh, suicide mission where you're about to explode. How am I? That is not enough time. Oh my god. You I weren't pressing I... the button until halfway through. It True. could be plenty of time. You could be pressing it at the beginning. Uh, no, I'll keep reading. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm pressing the button now. <laughs> Let's motor. Hold the. I didn't understand that pressing up in the left and press putting two joysticks in like. Well, I was telling how to use the controllers, and you yeah. got all excited about a new yeah. level you had reached. <laughs> I w it was exciting. It use your exciting. joystick to maneuver your ship. Uh, did you do? Oh, and then you go up and down. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna make it out. When descending down the cavern, press the red button to fire your missiles. 
Your ship is equipped with a dual missile. Once fired, both missiles must either exit the screen or hit the target or cavern it. wall before he can fire again. Level one, defeated. Uh, be careful, your shots cannot travel through the debris of a destroyed enemy, of nice. destroyed enemy targets. Nice animation. Congratulations. Finally, Camera be aware just... that your cannons take a few moments to re-energize between shots. So not only do you have to wait for them to impact, you have to wait a little longer to be able to shoot them. Oh, okay. When escaping the cavern, once cavern the bomb two. has been activated, use the joystick to maneuver your ship to avoid the cavern walls. Press the red button to fire your ship's afterburners for extra speed. Okay, you do need to do that. Yeah. Be careful, though. The ship will not maneuver as well when in overdrive. No, no. It's much fat, much slower. If you crash into the cavern wall or, or an enemy object, or if you... <laughs> <laughs> he was doing nothing behind yeah, that yeah. manual. Or not you're... yawning. <laughs> Don't say that word. That's a <gasps> terrible word to say. <laughs> or if your fuel gauge the reaches zero, zero, you will lose a ship. Right. For two player games, player one and player two alternate turns until all the ships in that player's reserve are depleted. Player one controls oh. a blue ship and player two controls a green ship. Woo! Oh. Okay. Once all reserve ships have been used, the game ends. It's cooperative then. The yep. two player. Well, that's cool. Maybe we should do that. Console controls. From the title screen, press game reset to start the game or press red button on the left controller. Use game select to cycle through the skill levels and one or two player games. I'm saying words, but they are not entering. <laughs> They're just flowing and going Woo! and gone. Oh, it's much harder. Level two is much harder on this. The other part was not, not that bad. Le this. Use the left controller to change skill levels. Okay. On and the, the number screen. of players to switch between a one or two player game. Press the left controller up or down. To cycle through the four skill levels, press the left controller, left or right. That is something I really like on homebrew games now. You don't have to use the, um, the little the toggles yeah. on there. You just all joystick. So much better. And pressing the button to start. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what was that? It was like a force, force field screen? you have to time. Mm. Time up going through. So, and you have to get through this. Go through the first pass, because you don't have time to go through the second pass. I just hit. Oh my god. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> I was Make somewhere sure around here. Okay. I, I press continue? Yep, there you go. Beware the force fields. They are not easy. Beware the force? Beware the force. May the force be with you. May the force field not murder your ass. Or any part of you. Yeah, we can't really switch to two-player now because we're already in it in the game. <laughs> if we switch to two players, we'd have to start from the first, the first thing over again, unfortunately. But this is that's a very cool way to do two players. Oh, a little too fast. It's to alternate <laughs> using up. Uh, okay. Da -da -da. One, two, up, down. Yep, we got that. Ah! Uh, ah! ah! To pause a game, 2,600 users toggle the TV type switch from color to black and white, or vice versa to pause the game. So he continued the black and white thing all the way to his newest game for pausing. Very cool. Way to be. Your that, turn. That part is damn hard. Right, right around there. Yeah. Toggle the TV type to switch from color yeah. to black and white, or vice versa to pause the game. Yep. 7,800 users. Who cares about those guys? <laughs> Note, the game will only stay paused for five minutes, at which time the game will end and return back to the title screen. Oh, oh goodness. five minutes. You don't have to go... Why, why is that? I bathroom wonder. break and you're done. Why is that? He's just being mean. Burn in, I guess. He doesn't want burn in. He's protecting the screens. Okay, kitten, this is what like... What screens are you protecting? This is like super hard. Look. Stop it. He's just adding an extra difficulty level to <laughs> he it. He is. He's taking it from novice to expert. That's for sure. Okay, now I know where to sit on these screens. Use oh, difficulty switches. Oh, no, the game will stay. Blah, blah, blah. Use difficulty switches to select whether or not the enemy cannons fire during the game. Set to B, novice, to disable the cannons. Set to A, expert, to enable the cannons. Oh. The left difficulty switch is used for the left player, the right difficulty switch is used for the right player. Ooh. 
That's oh. nice. So you can handicap your friend. Or, yes. Or make it harder for you. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. It depends on your perspective. Oh my god. That was a total Darcy move. <laughs> right into it. <laughs> The status area displays information about the current player. The top line displays the score. Below the score is the number of reserve ships. The bar indicates the current stage, and the number of flags specifies oh. the cavern. Oh, that's so hard. It's very hard. Uh, score? There's a picture, and it, it describes what I just said. Okay. Below the flags is the message display. During normal gameplay, this will display the number of fuel units left. It will also display important messages, such as when a bomb is activated. Right. When escaping, the remaining time until the bomb explodes is displayed. Right. Huzzah! Go, 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 go! You can't go through all of them. Oh, no. you have to stop. Okay. Now that that's there are, established... <laughs> there are four skill levels, each with either four. one or two players. Four skill levels are novice, pilot, warrior, and commander. Hmm. The difference between each skill... So there's two ways to increase the skill. One is to have the oh ship, my God. The, the ship shoot or, or the enemy shoot or not. Yeah. And the second is the skill level. So the oh, difference between each skill level is the number of stages that must be completed for each cavern. Novice. Novice setting is recommended for beginners. In the first cavern, you need only clear the tunnel and the rocket stage before activating the bomb. At the end of the cavern... Sorry. Before activating the bomb at the end of the cavern. Almost. Each subsequent cavern adds one more stage to clear until the fourth cavern when all five stages must be cleared. Oh, wow. Pilot! Pilot setting, you must clear tunnel, rocket, and laser gate. It's so hard. This is the laser gate stage, I guess. Yeah, and I have not cleared it once. And if there's like another one down a little bit further. I'm just gonna die, even if I make it past the first one. It's just not happening. It's so hard. Staying. You need to get down further because to stay steady, you just have to let go of the controller. What happens is no. you have, you have stop. <laughs> if you're low enough on the screen, you'll stay steady. But once the bottom of the screen catches up to you, it pushes you up. So what you need to do is oh. stay close to the bottom of the screen so that you can stop and stay stopped. See? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. Thank you. Welcome. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. That's the tactic. Yep, and somebody in the chat. Oh, the programmer. <laughs> Just said that as well. Ah, uh, see, no, I was mistiming that. Yeah, he's getting frustrated at us. <laughs> me dying. It's like, here, this is how you do it. This is how you not die over and over again. Okay. Wait, get down, go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So basically, oh. uh, the difficulty uh, change is that in their novice, the first one is easier, and yeah, each of them, you just have to do more of the levels. But even on novice, you eventually have to do all the levels on further ones. Mm. So it just ramps up the difficulty early on. Mm, okay. And Commander, the toughest one, you have to do all five levels for each base. Oh, God. Enemy stages. To reach the end of the cavern, you must first travel through a number of stages. In Conquest of Mars, there are five unique stages, each with their own challenges. Depending on the skill level and the cavern, there are also... So, there are two to five stages to clear before reaching the base. Before reaching the base stage and activating the bomb. Most of the stages contain generators. These are a major source of power for the Martians, and destroying them earns big points. Another major Martian defense are its cannons. In some game variations, these fire disruptor bolts that destroy your ship on impact. In every stage, you must shoot the fuel pods marked with a letter F to keep your ship from running out of energy and crashing. Right. Your fuel supply is increased by 10 units for every fuel pod that you destroy. The following is a description of each stage. Tunnel stage. We all know this. The tunnel stage is a winding a a tunnel that is fortified with enemy, with enemy defenses. You must maneuver your ship through the tunnels, destroying everything in your path. Everything in your path! Everything. In this stage what are stage? fuel pods, generators, and cannons. <laughs> <coughs> you should, but you don't have to. Uh, it says you must maneuver your ship through the tunnels, yeah. comma, destroying everything in your path. You must maneuver the tunnels, destroying 
everything in your path is not part of the must, I don't think. Oh, okay, okay. Rocket stage. Once the tunnel stage is complete, you will enter the rocket stage. In this stage, the Martians have unleashed their arsenal of rockets. Gliding with these rockets will destroy your ship. Yeah. Dodge or shoot them with your missiles. You must also shoot fuel pods to increase your ship's average <laughs> must also shoot the fuel pods to increase your ship's your ship's oh ever God. dwindling fuel supply. Okay, I made it through two. I'm, I'm okay at making it through two of them. <laughs> <laughs> Prove me wrong, game. Prove well, me wrong, timing. game. I laser challenge gates. you. In the laser gate stage, you will be very frustrated. <laughs> Sorry, in the laser gate stage, you must still contend with the cannons and destroy the generators and fuel pods. Additionally, the Martians have constructed a series of laser gates to impede your progress. Careful timing is necessary to avoid the deadly touch of the lasers. Oh my god, there's like four there now. No <laughs> oh, muffin. Space mines. I've been to that stage. The yet. space mine stage is similar in my lips, my my tongue, my whole talking mechanism is getting tired. Uh, space mines. The space mine stage is similar to the tunnel stage. There are cannons to avoid and generators to destroy, as well as fuel pods. The Martians have also placed a number of their deadly space mi mines in the cavern to try and stop you. These mines pulsate with energy, pulsating, <laughs> making them <laughs> difficult to shoot. They also are equipped with an energy displacement device that allows them to transport short distances. Boo. Uh, almost instantly. These erratic movements have, make the mines difficult to destroy and even more difficult to avoid. Somebody's giving me sass. Is it a cat? In the chat. You need to pause in between laser gates and press up to scroll with the train, then pull down when it disappears. Yeah, yeah. My kids are enjoying watching you play. Plays in quotes. <laughs> That's the sass. Oh. Play. <laughs> More like die. <laughs> <laughs> the cavern has indentations that show where to stop. Yes, yes. That does help a lot. I was talking about something very important. Oh! Uh, uh, so okay, the maze. Hard. The maze is a series of narrow, winding tunnels that must be navigated with precise and careful handling. Yes, that's There are for many sure. fuel pods in this stage. Shoot them quickly and fly through the debris to continue your journey. So hard. Towards the base and your ultimate mission! The base. The base is the final stage of the cavern. As the tunnel gets more and more narrow, you eventually reach the destructive bomb. Destructo bomb! Yeah. Pilot your ship carefully and make contact with the bomb to activate its countdown procedure. Once activated, you will get a certain amount of time to escape the cavern depending on how many stages you cleared before reaching the base, not including the base stage. Oh. If you can reach the end of a cavern without losing a ship, you will be awarded with survival points. Sorry, a survival bonus. I got that one. <laughs> the following table summarizes the amount of time given to, to escape and survival bonus for each number of stages cleared. And then there's a list with the points. Okay. <laughs> we don't need to get into that. <laughs> Once you have activated the bomb, the fuel indicator is replaced with a time clock. You do not expel fuel while escaping. Right. Because you're fueled by fear. Yes. Uh, the timer will count down as you escape back through the stages you've cleared. Oh, more words. <laughs> it's a complex game. <laughs> la -la 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 -la. Almost. I, I'm getting the pattern and the movements down now. And I just missed time that one. Getting there, getting there. I'm gonna hand this off to you. Oh, good. In a second, <laughs> so you can die. Hey, cat butt, did you poop in the box? Oh yeah, he laid the bomb. I he came in bomb. to brag. <laughs> he came in to, okay, did to it. celebrate. Oh. Ah, oh, cat. Oh, okay, that one was fine. Please, no more. Please, no more. Oh god, another one. Ah, cat. And from the beginning. Hi. Did you clean yourself after the, the litter box? I hope you did. Still smells pretty stinky. Ah, drifted. Oh, 
Okay. No. <laughs> nice try, buddy. Denied. <laughs> okay, good. Settle down there. That's a nice spot. But I'm <laughs> visibly getting the hang of these... Whoa, that was close. Of the movements. Oh, I mistimed that one. <laughs> oh, cat. They are hungry. It's almost their dinner time, so that's probably why they're getting all anxious and running around. Give them this ass. Yeah. Also for ass. Oh, up too low. Before I give up on this game, I have to defeat this level. <laughs> what time is it? Oh. Time to do squats. It's 4:21. Games are just too good today. Playing the hell out of them. There was hell in them? Yes. Oh! This level is definitely hell. <laughs> <laughs> and this is only the third of five, which you have to do five times to complete the game. <laughs> On Commander. Okay. No cats. Keep the cats away. Oh, he's, he's like, pet me. No, I, what I really oh, mean is I should have gone for two for that one. I think I was almost to the end there. Almost. What they want you to think. Yeah. John, you evil bastard. How could you make such a tough game? Ah, oh, that was my fault. That time. <laughs> Fully my fault. It's the Genesis controllers are are good for some things, but they were discussing that. They were saying that they think this game is easier with the Oh, were they? Some uh, CX40 joystick. Definitely. I think this game is definitely easier with that because this is this is very sensitive to side, to other movements, um, like side movements. Go, 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 go. Um, which is good for some things. Oh, no, 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 go for two. Oh, no. Sometimes you have to get really low to give yourself enough room. I saw that you were, who wants to be a millionaire in that one? <laughs> Meaning? You were like talking your way through it. Oh, yes. The way a crazy person would talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm really leaning towards the A answer, but the B's looking good too. Um, doesn't help. It just doesn't help. It's just stalling. Johnny Wisemiller used to do that when we were playing board games. <laughs> really? Stall for time? No, he wasn't stalling for time. He, he was reasoning. He wants to be a millionaire in his way through. <laughs> <laughs> I used to harass him about it. <laughs> go, 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 go. And did he stop? No. <laughs> Nerds don't uh, stop just because you call them on their bullshit. No, their that nerdiness. is true. That is true. You're like, fuck you. And I'm going to continue doing this what I'm doing. This is the way I do it. This is what makes it me It wasn't me. an accident. I didn't do it that way by mistake. <laughs> go, 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 two. Go, 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 go. See, I do know what I'm doing now. Just being able to do it is... A, that was very close. Oh. Go, go, oh! Go. Uh, oh! Oh God! Not the wall! Not the cavern! <laughs> <laughs> the window is open due to heat. <laughs> yeah. Well, your neighbors, your That's neighborhood true. is very noisy. I don't think That's they true. have anything to about. That's true. Tell them to go back and play some more bongo oh, no, drums. I'm die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. People yelling at video games is not going to really throw them off too much. I like my old residences. Where they got mad at me for... Mad at us for yelling. Of course, that was much later in the night. <laughs> it was like midnight. Remember that? You used to get mad. No. Outside the window? No? no. They did a couple times when we used to do shows. Yeah. And they I seem to recall them. there being drama. Oh, no, don't, 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 don't step on the... He didn't do anything. It was nothing happened. Cat damage. <clears throat> Cat, Cat damage. damage is like a postage uh, stamp <laughs> on a collectible. It doesn't count. It's like it didn't happen. Uh -huh. I know, I know it's your dinner time. Oh my god. Okay, I just need to stop for a bit. Regroup. Oh, I'm not going to have enough fuel. Hello. My name is Pixel. Oh, that's how we do it. Let's see what's going on in the chat. 
Yes, the patterns are all the same. Uh, yes, the Genesis controller is way too sensitive left and right. Um, I, I was... I am now kind of dying because of bad movements. I, I know the pattern of the first couple. Um, so it is... It, it's just difficult. It's just the left and right thing. If it makes you, uh, Johnny says, if it makes it feel you better, I can't do this stage with a Genesis controller. Same with Scramble and Super Cobra. Yeah, those definitely when we, re <laughs> when we play Scramble. Because <laughs> uh, we haven't played Scramble. We played Sco Super Cobra already on one of the streams. Um, but when we get to Scramble, I will probably plug in a different controller. Prob no! Prob probably the Epix controller, maybe? It's very noisy. Might be noisy on on uh, on the stream, but uh, I do like that one. It's a lot more precise. Um, there is a cheat if you want to practice this level after. Oh, is there? Oh, there's cheats in the game. Very nice. <laughs> on the title screen, press select and reset at the same time. Oh, and it brings up a stage select screen. Very nice. So you can go straight to this one and practice. I like it. Oh, that was the wrong spot. <laughs> yeah, it, very small margin of error. Just like um, Wall Jump Ninja. <laughs> Except that's even more precise. Oh, and if I haven't said, I am wearing my uh, Atari socks today. Can I go? Can you see that? No. Sorry. <laughs> Atari socks. And... Um, the Hayes, Haynes? What is the actual name on this? It's Hayes, right? Hayes. Yeah, they put Haynes, which is like underwear manufacturing. Uh, so why yeah. why they put, I guess, their fine? Because it's not uh, actually Hayes. But of course, Haynes makes clothing, which this is a piece of clothing. So I don't know if they're out of the woods for that. Usually I have to make up a, or use a name that has nothing to do with it. But, uh, yep, got a um, four switch on here. Actually, this would be really, really cool if somebody actually made a manual like this that outlines like repairs for 2600 and um, instructions like about the hardware of it. But uh, they'd have to clear a couple things and not get uh, not get sued. <laughs> it's an easy game, eh? <laughs> Super easy game. It, the, the controller is part of the problem, right? <laughs> I wish I could blame the controller. I'm just not there yet. <laughs> yeah, but I saw you go to the side when I know you wanted to press down. For sure. Hey, cat. And... <laughs> here, here, here. <laughs> Please continue. I really I want to get this. I thought it was through there. I thought it was through that second one. Oh, no. Too low. I will defeat this level. That's all I want to do now. And then we can retire for the day. <laughs> After we defeat this level. I have to leave soon. Really? No. No? You're faking it? I don't have to. <laughs> True. <laughs> it, it occurred to me that no, in fact, not really. I really don't have to leave soon. <laughs> uh, Tanya wanted to go for dinner. Oh, okay. Well, then I don't have to leave at all because... Down up to Ooh, that was Ooh, close. That, that was, was close. close. But um, this is not horseshoes. <laughs> there is no close. Yeah, there is death. Death guess, or not death. I guess this is. Damn it. Horseshoes. Uh, yeah. Because it counts. It does count. <laughs> no, no, no. It doesn't count because we meant you succeeded. You not you were close to succeeding. Close to failure always counts. Yes. Because you don't die close to That's failure. That's right. If you either fail or you don't fail. That's right. Oh, I'm gonna die. Damn it. And those things alternate, so you don't die immediately. Mm -hmm. It's like not dead, dead. Mm -hmm. As it touches your little legs. Oof. It's going to the right again. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes I just forget where they are coming in the level. Ah, not enough room. Blip, blip, blip. Yep, running out of lives. Not that it matters, because... 
be down on the screen. Oh, that's another advantage of being lower on the screen, is you can fire more rapidly. True. Oh. Close. <laughs> Close <laughs> to living, but not. Close to living. You have enough fuel, though. Dying. Definitely enough fuel to make it. <laughs> Uh, that very... was a good sign, though. That was a sign that you're becoming so comfortable <laughs> that yes, you're just like, oh, I'm I mean, your timing wasn't good enough. You should, you, you were being cocky. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Back to the word. It was coming back around. Uh, oh, I should have gone. It's frustrating on games when you know what you're supposed to do and you're just not good enough to do it. You, really? <laughs> I, I but, have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> rather than rather than the game is just like unpredictable yeah. and and hard mm -hmm. it's just like no you suck you suck yeah you're not stopping at the right time Ugh. Ugh. you have to memorize each one of them is so different you have to memorize each one and i and uh, you may have to give up on this because even if i make it through to the, to the ones that I've seen before, there's going to be another one that I have not seen, that I don't know the pattern for, and which will kill me instantly. Okay. This will be the last round. No. You'll give you five minutes! <laughs> to do what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just remembered that you only had five minutes. Oh. Which is not enough minutes. No, no. But you could use the cheat code and then just go right, skip right this. ahead. Yeah. True. This is one of those games that I can go back to. Okay, last life. Last life of frustration. Okay. <laughs> Off. Blue, <laughs> blue screen for everyone. Enjoy the blue screen. I just screen. want to make sure you weren't tempted again. <laughs> True. <laughs> it was for you that I did that. Oh, thank you. Uh, um, it's because I care. Just, oh. Uh-oh. Uh, What's that? You still have to get through the mines and the maze. What's going What? I don't know. Something's going on. Oh, okay. Because yeah. you turn it on and things are readjusting themselves. Um... Uh, and and John, the programmer, uh, you still have to get through the mines and the maze. They make this level looks like child's play. <laughs> Just kidding. This is the hardest level, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, this is like the other levels. We can make it through on a couple of lives. This, just dead stop, dead stop. But very challenging. Like, it's 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 playable. Like it's doable. It's not like oh my god, it's impossible to play. It's memorization and. That's sometimes... And maybe using a different joystick. Yeah, that would help a lot. So the next time I play this, definitely be using a different joystick that doesn't just slam you into the walls. Yeah. Um, when so. do you get the mind control patch? Uh, <laughs> because that would work really well for me. If I could just maybe. be like, do this thing! And it's all like, doing it. Oh, but that would be truly embarrassing when you still ran into the wall. You still can't do it. And <laughs> it still went mind, smash into the wall. Shit! Your mind uh, is Clearly, direct. I wanted to run into the wall. Mind is direct feedback. <laughs> they did have Mind Link uh, in the early 80s. Yeah. For the Atari, where you could control with your mind. It was a little strap around your head. They never got. It never got released, but it was in um, like the in like the pamphlets. Like it was gonna come out, but then they tested it and it was terrible it didn't work very <laughs> it didn't well. work it was like barely usable so they went no nah, no nah, that's not gonna happen um good trio of games today oh yeah. my god excellent every single one of them yeah they were all good they were a all good plus. games yep. like a plus yeah yeah for sure top notch um i can't wait for um the first game <laughs> now i've totally blanked on on what it was uh what was the first game Let's switch over. What is it? 
Mappy. Oh, that, that, yeah, yeah. I totally forgot what it was. Yeah, I can't wait for Mappy to come out. I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be coming pretty soon. I mean, sometimes the cycle between the game being done and being produced by Atari Age will take like a year or so sometimes because it takes a long time for him to gear up and get all the cartridges and print the boards and yeah, yeah. get the manuals done. It's a long process. Um, hopefully it'll be done by the time I go down to Portland Retro Gaming Expo where Atari Age is usually there every year and I can just go buy it from them because up in Canada there's terrible shipping costs because <laughs> it's expensive to ship things um because so. it's not subsidized uh, i don't know no it's not at all it must be it must be somewhere along the line but yeah, shipping so. within the u.s it's quite cheap i think uh, relative i think part of that is that it's so dense in the u.s yeah there's it's really not that dense here i mean back east in ontario they're getting ripped off it should be cheap as yeah. as as borscht to uh, ship in ontario within ontario should be but it's like f yeah. flat across the country because they don't want to be um rude to anyone <laughs> they don't want to be unfair actually they don't want to be unfair to the northern territories actually, is what they don't want to charge a hundred dollars for a letter to deliver it there so yeah. they make it all the same price for next door or across the country because it's a big country it does cost more sparse. depending on where you are. It is more to ship something somewhere remote. If you're in the city, it's cheaper to send it there than it is to send outside if it's somewhere it actually true. remote. Yeah. yeah, when it's packages. But letters, all the same. So, uh, Mappy, Pank, Panky the Panda, Conquest of Mars, all awesome. Yep. I definitely recommend buying the other two and waiting to buy the first one. Um, there is a demo. It's early, doesn't uh, right now on Atari Age. Um, it doesn't have the music, but it has everything else, um, so you can totally play um, the map, the Mappy game. So you can just have the music from the YouTube video playing in the background because <laughs> he has put on YouTube things or this or us, but you'll hear us talking too. <laughs> Which is. Which is great. Pleasant. That'll just help you. Yeah, it'll... you'll be like, oh, I'm doing better than Darcy. Yep. Here's the tip, though. <laughs> Just play. You'll already know that. <laughs> Just watch. <laughs> don't even need to play. <laughs> we don't profess to be uh, expert gamers. No. Um, there's one game I'm very good at, but uh, all the rest, maybe not so much. I am the world record holder of Wall Jump Ninja. I am very good at that game. Um, so... That is our show for today. We just today. got scooped twice in a row, kitten. And this is... What's uh, going on? Oh, I'm going to get away. Get away. Oh, That's bye from Atari. And bye from me. And from me. And from the Darcy. And um, usually we broadcast on Wednesdays in the evening and Fridays in the afternoon. Um, but not always. But that's our usual days. So uh, we will see you next time. And this will be posted on YouTube. Usually uh, shows are posted the next day on YouTube. So if you want to watch it again, I don't know why. If you watched it live, <laughs> you got everything. But, you know, we're pretty good, pretty hilarious. So Super funny. Super good. Um, so, yeah, we post on YouTube after, and all the archives are there as well. So thank you for everybody who uh, came into the chat. Actually, tons of great programmers were in the chat. Um, the person and one or two terrible programmers, but we don't want to mention who is who. We will leave the names out, but the, the good programmers, Daryl Spice Jr. was there, um, John, uh, no, I forgot his last name, uh, who did Conquests of Mars, and Mappy were in there, as well as uh, Thomas J. Uh, I don't want to try and pronounce his last name. Also, um, Arena Foot, who put out the, um, the new book on homebrew. Uh, I think it's the first ever book on Atari 2600 homebrew games definitely pick that up it's at amazon.com right now not amazon.ca unfortunately i did have to pay for shipping but i bought it anyway because he's awesome and probably some other people that i missed is posta um who was also contributing to mappy uh, i believe he did the sound effects and maybe music it wasn't listed uh where i was looking but i'm guessing he's done he's doing music as well if he's doing the sound effects and uh, anybody else I missed? Um, probably. Probably. But thank you for tuning in. And we will see you next time on Zero Page Homebrew. Bye-bye.